he wasn't on the line anymore and he was just he was upset. Shout out to Rams getting two two months. <laughs> so we could have we probably but we're both both the same. Let's go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna date you. I'm gonna date you. No, not really. I don't have any calls. I didn't wow. see the game. No. It was pretty much everything we saw. What happened? What's good, man? We have to be there. You have to be here in a week. There's a cutoff for like an hour. Like, oh, 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 oh. Hey guys, welcome back to the Real Pod Podcast. This is episode 34, and today's guest is Patrick Ibarra. What's going on, my man? Yeah, what's up, bro? I'm just just chilling. What's uh, been happening? Yeah, you know, finally finishing university soon. Um, I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go into teaching, and hopefully, maybe I can play a little bit more ball because that's something I've been lacking mm-hmm. a hell of a lot. Like I I need I want to get back on court. Yeah, he's like, mate, his TikToks are fine as super at this point. I'm sure, like, everybody's for you page <laughs> has popped up with one of your yo, 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 guys. <laughs> yeah, you might you might have seen me on TikTok yeah. a few times, but yeah, I mean, some videos blow up, some videos just go average. So, yeah, yeah. if you've seen my face, it's just, you know, regular Asian hooper. <laughs> so, ain't, ain't nothing special about me, That's but if you though. fuck with me, I fuck with you back. So, hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like it. So, me and Pat actually played basketball like through school, like a lot through school. I can't mm-hmm. remember when we first met, but. Yeah. I definitely met you when you came in to school. Yeah. Like, yeah. I know that. So, I was in year eight, you would have been year seven. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the days, man. And then we played in, um, played in year 11 uh-huh. with each other. Yep. As he still had the most meanest body caption. I can't remember what it was, but it was a picture of you doing a spin move. And oh, dang. You had a ca- I can't. Uh-huh. That was our, our game that against was Cranbrook. The, oh, those were the days. Because mm-hmm. I was looking. Um, they did that the other night. Mm-hmm. Friday oh, yeah. Game. That's right. I, I love that they still do it. Mm-hmm. Well, it's quickly, I want to get into, What was it like playing a Friday night game? Do you remember like oh. going into it? Because it, it, it was a different ste- setup. Yeah. Like, step up. Because I used to just play like, you know, A's and B's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ball, so. Playing in the seconds with like hella people in the stands, oh, bro, especially in the wild. home game, dude, that was crazy. Like, and I, I remember hitting. I think it was the only point I scored. I yeah. had like a spin move. Yeah. And I was like, oh fuck! Like you can hear it all, all the crowd going. Oh. <laughs> yeah, shit was crazy. Like I played seconds, but yeah, like there's still hella people watching that game, and I was. Oh, it's probably yeah. wild. Mm-hmm. Like I, I. I don't think I, the weirdest thing I just remember when I was shooting the free throws yeah. and the quiet, the, the crowd went silent and then you're like, it, it's, it was more quiet than like an empty gym. Yeah. You know what right. I mean? Uh-huh. And then, and then I think I missed a couple and they're like, come on, get the next one. And then I was like, didn't miss another one. Yeah. But like, mm-hmm. You got like, hurt that game, didn't you? I did, yeah, I had a concussion. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> that was when the injury started getting bad. Yeah. And then since then, bro, I've had to get injured every second month. It's actually horrible. Right. Injured Sammy is just like... Mate, it, it's actually annoying, <laughs> man. Like, this year already, I'm like, what? I came off a concussion, mm-hmm. and then I like, did, I like, um, tore did. a bunch of ligaments in this shit as uh-huh. well. It doesn't stop, but yeah. hey, it is what it is. Like even when we graduated high school, I'd still see you in like a knee sleeve or a cast in your Bro, hand. Bro, that's when it got really bad. Like <laughs> yeah. from there, I like broke my leg last year. Mm-hmm. I had what else? I did my ankle twice. Yeah. When you graduated, so my last year, mm-hmm. and then oh. Uh, I have buddy, I have uh, jumpers knee. Yeah. Which isn't fun, but. Uh huh. Hey, I haven't had any at the moment, and I can dunk now. That's so. that is good. Uh huh. Yeah, but That's anyways, good. back on to you. Mm-hmm. So when did? So if you didn't know, Pat was born in the Philippines, and so what was that experience like? From when did you move to Australia? In 2012. 2012. April 2012. So, so you were. I was 11 and a bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, moving from the Philippines to here, it was a. Yeah. It wasn't too big of a change because I already, I already spoke English. Okay, so, that's good. Yeah, like I could, I could understand everything. You know, the accent was a little bit, a little bit hard to get used to. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, like I got used to school. Mm-hmm. Actually, school was a lot easier here. Really? So, yeah, Why would you say that? Um, in the Philippines, bro, if you get like, they call it line of seven. So if you get yeah, less than eighty percent in an exam, you failed, which is oh, like, shit. which is Wait, insane. What? Yeah. And here you're like, you get 50%, you're chilling. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So yeah, if you got a line of seven, so anything like 79, 78, that was a fail. Shit. So yeah, like I moved here, I was like, what the, 50% is all I need? That's crazy. So yeah. That's mental. Imagine having to do that at university. Oh Uh my God. I've only ever had like two things over like 80. (laughs) That was wild, man. 
No, there was at one point too in university. I was like, yeah, no, high distinction, distinction yeah, yeah. only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It's too much of an effort. Uh-huh, it much. really is. Like, and then um, what? So you move over here, and mm-hmm. then what was what was that like? It, uh, you know, not apart from being like, apart from high school. Like, what was it a big like culture shock? Uh, not not really, because yeah. it was it was easy. I was younger, so I could yeah, still, yeah, like, yeah. get used to things and. Mm-hmm. Most of my time was in high school because I yeah. did like two and a bit terms of year six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I was, yeah. I was acing that shit. That shit was crazy. <laughs> so year six was a breeze. Seven, that's when I was like, oh, everything's you yeah. know, a lot lighter. So, yeah. And then it was weird hanging out with white people. <laughs> yeah, like... <laughs> I went to Waverly, right? So yeah, well, you're not, you're not Eastern used, suburb school. Yeah, absolutely. Everybody's white, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, like there were a few Asian people, but yeah. I didn't really mix in with them because, you know, I like to play ball. You know, in the Philippines, there's three things that you're naturally born with. You play ball. Yeah. You're short as fuck. Or you can sing. <laughs> and I only got two of those. <laughs> so, yeah. You gotta guess which ones. Mm-hmm, you gotta get, <laughs> guess which ones. You know that I play ball, so that's one. <laughs> might be able to say hey i'm on the mic right now so. hey if you spit something real quick uh-huh. <laughs> no nah, that's funny as fuck man uh-huh. um so then what and was it different like having a lot of white friends and stuff well obviously it's different but like yeah at first like yeah. i mean i had you know they weren't all white but yeah yeah, 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 yeah for sure like i had a few people i knew that were asian and yeah, there yeah. Were a few black people as well like yeah, yeah. alex like one of my closest friends all throughout high school yeah yeah so yeah and then yeah other people from like like Mike and stuff, like you know, they're they're Arab or yeah, you know, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, so it wasn't just all white, but it was predominantly white. And mm-hmm. the weirdest thing was like in the classroom. Yeah, I yeah. Remember me and Alex right bang in the middle. Everyone else is white. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, fucking whitewash. Uh huh. This shit is crazy because yeah, in in my classroom in year six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were uh, twenty kids, I think, or like eighteen, something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And. Four of us were Filipino. Okay. So yeah, like I didn't really have to adjust too much to be yeah, the, yeah, the you. only, you know, colored person in the yeah, classroom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was cool too. They spoke Filipino, so I was like, oh, like happy really, days. Literally chilling in year six. I don't think I've ever heard you speak Filipino. Yeah. I mean, I can fluently, but we'll save that for for home. <laughs> <laughs> so you still speak like to your parents? Yeah. Like the, sometimes though I respond in English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah fair I'm enough. more used to it. But like, what was your overall like high school experience and stuff like? Overall high school experience, it was, it was fun. But there are some things like I wish I kind of did different as well. Like, what I, would you say? I'm I'm a believer in like those things where, that pe- the things that people say where it's like live your life with no regrets. But yeah, to for an sure. extent. I feel like you got to learn from some of the mistakes as well. Yeah, So, for yeah, sure. like, I wish that I would have put more time into actually playing ball because it was something I enjoyed. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. So, like, I, you know, I might have been better. I might have stayed the same. Could have been in the league, man. Yeah. No, you know what I mean? First Filipino in the NBA. <laughs> like, full Filipino. <laughs> but, yeah, like, I, you know, I could have always put more effort into, yeah, for sure. into everything. Like, even yeah. my studies and even just, you know, things like making more friends mm-hmm. and things like that because yeah now i'm still you know there's still a lot of people i fuck with but mm-hmm. yeah there's i've met other people that i you know rock with more yeah for sure but yeah like i'm not gonna downplay all the friends that i made all throughout high school you know you and all of the other guys that i met my yeah. teammates so yeah like i can still rock with them but mm-hmm. there's you know like now that i'm a little bit older i've kind of learned from what i've done in the past like i could have you know, just been more outgoing and talk to people and shit yeah, like that. Yeah, you seem so much more like confident and uh-huh. stuff now. Yeah. yeah. You I mean, were, you're super laid back. Like, I remember like, we would always chat. Like, we always got on really well. But like, mm-hmm. I feel like now you could be like the last person in the room always, like yeah. in some situations. Uh-huh. Yeah, you can kind of just like be like, hey, no, I would never expect this kid to be like on TikTok. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. I was like, I was like, yeah, I know you're into like, yeah, like I remember you in like the dancing and like uh-huh. all that shit back in the day. But then yeah. I'm like seeing all these boss videos. I'm like, shit, uh-huh. that's mental. Yeah. No, it was fun. It was yeah. fun doing that. But yeah, like I loved high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few things I wish 
you know, I would have changed. Yeah, yeah for sure. Like even, I was thinking about this the other day. Yeah. My sister is into like music and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But in like in my heart, bro, I really wanted to be like in the plays, in the musicals. Yeah. Yeah, that shit looks so fun. It does, I. But yeah, going to an all boys school, you kind of be like, oh, you know, there's this kid. I'm not gonna say his name, but there's this kid like mm-hmm. in the year above mine. Yeah. Or yeah, maybe two years. Yeah, yeah. That everyone was just like. You know, he was confident enough to go up and sing and mm-hmm. shit like that, be in the choir, be the mm-hmm. main cast for the musicals. People be like, oh, dang, what a, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I know, yeah, I know. Yeah, I mean. I'm just like, in Things. my heart, I'm like, nah, that shit is kind of cool. Like, I don't want to be like that. Right. So, yeah. It's, you're never, it's never too late. Mm-hmm. It's never too late. Yeah. I mean, look, I mean, you see me dancing on TikTok. Yeah, absolutely. Shit is kind of cringy, but I have nah, fun. Nah, that's what matters <laughs> at the end of the day. Like, put up what mm-hmm. makes you happy. So. Yeah. Nah, I was just, I, well, yeah, it was the big, like, judgment. Like, so when I was, like, doing, like, the YouTube and mm-hmm. all that stuff, I just hit it because one time I put up a video, um, I told a friend about a video, and then it got passed on to someone else and then someone else, and then the next time I was in a classroom, it's up on a board, I'm like, yo, and then you're, like, a little kid, and you're like, fuck, I don't want to be here all in the world. Uh-huh. So I got, like, bullied away from not doing it. Yeah. And then I was just, like, fresh out of high school. Mm-hmm. I'm like fuck it i'm gonna do it i took yeah. it seriously i did all the videos and mm-hmm. i was like nah that's not my thing and now on the podcast and yeah. like this is i just i just feel comfortable you know mm-hmm. what i mean yeah i feel like that is a good thing about leaving high school because no, sure. yeah when you're a kid bro like i feel like there's a lot of there's just too many too many egos and people like no nah, this is cool that's not cool. yeah yeah for yeah. sure so in and when you're in university or even just just out of high school with like real adults yeah and it's like yeah do, do whatever the fuck you want to do absolutely like yeah. the, the big thing is mm-hmm. is like for example you're going to high school you're placed with 200 uh, away but there was like 200 kids you're placed with like yeah. two 250 kids let's say mm-hmm. and you're forced into go and make a friend yeah or make a group of friends uh-huh. and then in university at least you're studying edu- everybody you're everybody studying with new absolutely and new. then every way you, every place you're studying every, every um uh, subject you're doing is for education yeah so you're gonna have other people that want to do the same thing as you and mm-hmm. then you say you want to go to a club or like go play basketball yeah it's right there and uh-huh. you can join that and there's other people that like to do basketball yeah. like none of my school friends like some of them play basketball but like not like me uh-huh. but who plays it still every day yeah is obsessed with it uh-huh. you know what i mean that's right yeah because like at the end of the day it's like you want to surround yourself around people yeah. who are like you most so, definitely yeah. Like in, you know, in, yeah, like in high school, there's so many people that are mm-hmm. different and then you don't know which one you're trying yeah. to be in. And yeah, you're young. You don't know what the fuck you want Absolutely. to do. Absolutely. Yeah. What do you see like the biggest differences like within yourself, like from leaving high school to let's say um, three stages from leaving high school, let's say, I don't know, a couple of years of doing university and then let's say right now. Uh, dang, that is a pretty, I'd say I definitely am a lot more confident. Like, yeah, I, I can, say that. I can just, you know, even little things like if you want to buy something on facebook like mm-hmm. when i was a kid no i'd be like i'd be there no it says it says right there it's sold it's selling for 150 i'm not even going to try and negotiate yeah yeah, so yeah, like, yeah yeah i feel like i'm a little bit more able to talk to people like even if i've never spoken to them or yeah like, yeah so especially in university because yeah there's like hella people there it's wild especially um, our university god damn yeah at uts it's, it's like 50 it's, it's something like fifty thousand people there mm-hmm. it might be I, I don't even know it's something wild yeah because i really only had my first year as yeah that's on campus what was that like with well, yeah that was, it was you're holding great pretty much being in bloody yeah. covid uh-huh because even earlier this year was still like there were like the floods and yeah some for sure covid stuff so we were at home yeah it's yeah. wild man because mm-hmm. i've only had yeah. One, I've had two full semesters now uh-huh. in person. That's oh, crazy. Okay. Oh no, three because we had the one in the middle. So you've had just as much as yeah, I have. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. It's crazy. <laughs> so say I would have graduated like this year, I would have mm-hmm. only had yeah three in total. Yeah, that is kind of insane. It's yeah, insane. I had my first year, first semester, second year, uh, first year, second yeah. semester. Yeah. Yep. And then yeah, 2020 was all like we had like what a week. Mm-hmm. I had I had a month. Yeah, then. I had like two three weeks, and then yeah. we went into lockdown. Mm-hmm. So yeah, last year was all. Yeah, damn. Yeah, it's crazy, crazy, bro. bro. How did you um, how did you keep yourself together like during lockdown and stuff? In lockdown? Yeah. No, I, not gonna lie. Like yeah. this might be a hot take, but I kind of fucked with lockdown. It wasn't a bad thing. I'm not gonna uh-huh. lie. Either. No, second lockdown for me was a yeah. lot better. Yeah. First lockdown, I. First it, lockdown was weird. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, because we didn't know we weren't used to it. I guess mm-hmm. like, when have you ever been told to be? Nah, you can't leave your house. Yeah, that's right. But yeah, I think the one thing 
this probably leads into like why like how i became a little bit more confident in playing ball and posting that shit yeah, yeah. in lockdown every morning because we could travel a certain i think five kilometers or two yeah, kilometers, something like that, yeah so i could like reach a court oh like yeah an outdoor court and i just go there every morning mm -hmm. uh, yeah like as many as i can yeah, yeah go play ball for two hours mm -hmm. come back home go to my attend my classes get my work done and then because i was home all day i was getting so much shit done yeah, yeah, yeah i could go back out in the afternoon and go play some ball mad yeah so that that's how i kept myself together were you ever worried about like this is one thing i was especially mm -hmm. i didn't play against anybody during like yeah. those periods because i was just like nah i was a little that. bit too yeah because i remember my last time playing indoor like in 2020 i was at UCID because everywhere was closed yeah. it might have been a Let's say it was a Sunday or a Monday. Mm -hmm. Everywhere was closed and I'm just like, fuck, I want... No, it was a Sunday. Everywhere was closed because everybody else was like, oh, restrictions and all that shit. Mm -hmm. You said it was the only indoor court open for some reason. Yeah. So I go then, I legit played by my... I, there was a bunch of other people and I'm like, nah, I'm not playing with any of you. I had mm -hmm. a half court. I was playing by myself for like, sat is so fucking weird. Yeah. For like five hours, I'm just shooting uh -huh. on my ones. Yeah. Never done it. I've never shot for that long. Mm -hmm. And I'm just, and then I'm seeing the message like halfway in between. We're in the lockdown tomorrow, uh -huh. and I'm like, "Fuck, babe, this might be the last this time the for last a while." Time. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, I, I missed playing inside though because my knees were. I'm like, mm. oh, my knees are mm, hurting, bro. Man. Like, yeah, but I wasn't too bad with playing against people. Like, yes, yeah, I, I was so worried. Yeah, just as long as you know you weren't going <coughs> mm. <coughs> like you're walking up the court. No, I'm not. I'm not fucking with you. You can yeah, go. Yeah. You know, I mean, go to the bathroom, clean yourself up. Did your mom ever be like? My mom was like, especially after that day, she's like, go home. You take all your clothes off before you get back inside. Uh, Straight to the shower. <laughs> she wasn't too bad. Uh, my mom was so. They yeah. were so serious. Mm -hmm. More about because of like my grandparents and stuff. But yeah. Like, oh, okay. They lived with you. Yeah, no, no, no. But like we would still see them. Like. Oh, okay. Everyone's. We still so, would go and try to make an effort to see them before like they brought in like the bad like. Yeah. Kilometer rule and stuff, but like. Yeah, because like at the like the early stages, it was mainly affecting the older. Absolutely. People. So yeah, like that's where you really got to be careful. Did you ever get COVID? I did, but only this year. Like yeah, same as me. Ago. Same as yeah. me. Yeah, I got it in. I was at Ivy, and then I tested positive the next. Uh, so I reckon I got it before Ivy. Yeah, you really definitely see. got it before. Because uh -huh. I, I remember doing one of these, and I was coughing my like my lungs out. Uh -huh. and I'm like, Damn. Shit. That sucks. But yeah, I I only got mine in August. Some. It oh was wow, you're August, really some, late. Yeah. Jesus. Hella late. Yeah, I was like, nah, I'm wild. invincible, bro. I'm not getting this shit, man. Yeah, it was my sister's birthday. My dad got sick. Yeah, yeah. He tested positive the next day. Mm -hmm. I was like, ah, you know, I think I, I was like, no, I was right next to my dad when we had my sister's yeah, birthday yeah. there. Like, I didn't get it. And then the next day after, I got it. So I was ah, like, fuck. fuck. I, thought, <laughs> oh, I was almost there. So you didn't even get the seven days? Because it was five, was it five days? No, it was, it was still, still seven, seven. That time. Yeah. It was the literally the week after was when they made it five. Five, yeah. And now like, you can't even go get money off the yeah. government. That was the best thing. Seven mm -hmm. fifty. Oh, yeah. Didn't have to work. That's why. That's one of the reasons why I was cool with the lockdown. Yeah, yeah. Twenty twenty one. May it was so good. Mm -hmm. The money, like that's how I afforded all this. Yeah. <laughs> this <Wow>. is, <laughs> I just spent half the money, just well, not half the money, a little bit of the money, just straight on all the equipment and stuff. Yeah. No, I was spending mine on my car. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah. You love all your cars and stuff, eh? Hey? Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm a little bit. I have like a weird relationship with cars, but Tell me. like I fuck with my cars and my friends' cars, but yeah, yeah. like I'm not really uh, big into the community okay. of the cars. Yeah, okay. Because that shit can get a little bit toxic, and it's also kind of kind of weird. Okay, yeah. good. That's why I have a friend who's into it, and I'm like, mate, no offense, uh -huh. go at it, but it's just like, yeah. People like, that talk about uh, car people are weird, in my uh -huh. opinion. Like they, yeah, a lot, there's a lot of them that are weird too. Like they're just. I mean, no, yeah, yeah whatever. Like, no offense, but yeah. we're just talking opinions. Don't take it personally. Uh huh. Like, cause you know we're into ball and people think yeah, we're weird. Absolutely. Yeah, and I'm I'm into cars as well, and some people might think I'm weird, but yeah, yeah. Like I, I enjoy the hands-on, like doing shit to my car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, just like you know, it's fun to drive. Like it's fun to drive. Like you know, in Mexico. And that, like, that's just a car term, like, yeah. in Mexico, because what does that mean? Nothing's illegal in Mexico. Oh yeah, yeah, so, yeah okay. Yeah, like, I didn't want to, you know, say a place that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, you know, the police is gonna be. Yeah, yeah, there. yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's mad though. That's so mad yeah, though. like, dry, you know, driving in some places, you know, windy roads, or even like, I'd one day like to go to the track. Cause that so, shit is fun. That shit looks fun. Yeah, that would be yeah. mental. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know, it's just. 
it's kind of like performance like it's kind of just pushing yourself involved but also pushing your car yeah okay but yeah so i'm a clever so i couldn't i couldn't tell you shit about my car uh-huh. i got it for a good deal drives uh-huh. around faster bluetooth pretty good aircon's good yeah i can i can listen to drake if i want to listen to drake uh-huh, i can yeah. listen to kanye oh shit that's controversial <laughs> <laughs> yeah people are canceling kanye now was he what did you say what he said no i haven't i, I got, actually haven't been I, keeping I, up oh fuck me. yeah is it crazy yeah he like literally like said he wanted to like kill jews oh dude that, no, so and then being the jew like uh-huh. fucking hell you're like shit man <laughs> Like, you just gotta separate you know there's kanye music oh okay so kanye West. that's why i am because i hate it i like i used to like i still love kanye mm-hmm. musician and as the person i'm like yeah he's okay last couple years yeah, he's okay and then now like he put he wore this one shirt that said white lives matter yeah and then from then it's just been mm-hmm. yeah no no kanye's kanye's going a little bit too right. far into uh-huh. the deep end bro right I still yeah. love like College Dropout is still like one of my favorite albums like yeah. by far. Mm-hmm. This is I like, remember 13 year old me like that's when I started to really get into oh, yeah, really? So yeah, just, like, just before me. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, like I was like, oh, let me go all the way mm-hmm. back. Maybe not all the way back to the 90s, but you know, early 2000s. 2000, yeah. I was alive. I yeah, was yeah. alive at least. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I never did. Well, I was what, two? And then I didn't get a hip hop until I was, I want to say 15. Mm-hmm. 20, oh my God. Yeah, wait, was 15. it 2015? Yeah. I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, eight or nine. Mm-hmm. And then now, like, since then, don't listen to anything else unless I'm at the club. That's different. Yeah. But then, <laughs> and, um, yeah, and then I, when the documentary came on, the Kanye West one. Oh, yeah. Did you see that? I haven't seen that yet. Really good. Mm-hmm. Really good. Watch it because they could ca- they could take it off Netflix. Yeah, soon. I know. I was thinking that just then. Yeah. Because yeah. he's like, what uh, the fuck, Kanye? Come on, go back to, you know, Jesus Walks, Kanye. Mate, oh, Talking mate. about, like, our insecurities and, like, you know, I mean, it's cool. You're talking about a little bit deeper topics, but we need, you know, relatable kind. Absolutely. First. Like my my favorite song is Family Business. Uh huh. And it's yeah. just him talking about his family the whole time. Mm-hmm. And like you, you you say so you watch this documentary, you say like how it's getting made and stuff, and you're like, oh shit, there's last like he's showing him making Last Call and then making the song with Jamie Foxx and yeah. making, you know. There's a lot of, like, nuances that, Absolutely. You, like, yeah. Absolutely. It's so fun to listen to. And, like, yeah, documentary. I, le- I used to really fuck with documentaries, but now I just... I never got into it. Like, I watched The Last Dance, which I was... I haven't I, watched that either. You haven't said, um, <laughs> oh arguably the best documentary ever. Yeah. I want to watch the Amer- the Redeem Team one that just came out. I've watched that one. Is that good? Yeah. That, so, one, was, that one was pretty cool. Yeah. So I, I didn't watch the whole thing because I my dad was watching it. I walked in, like, maybe just, you know, like... A quarter of the way in, so yeah. I didn't see the beginning, but it was it was pretty good. But to like see LeBron and Kobe, like uh-huh. the whole document. Like I'm a big LeBron fan, so yeah, so am I. Oh, so yeah. yeah, you like Kobe as well, don't you? Or- I I mean I at one point I was a Kobe hater because he was I was a Heat fan. Yeah, I yeah. Younger, so I was like you know D Wade LeBron, he would fuck both of them up in like some games. I'd be like, dang. No, yeah, so I'm the same. Fuck this guy. Fuck Kobe. I'm a Bulls then, fan. Yeah. So oh. <laughs> he fucked us even more. Yeah, but yeah, no when. Like as Kobe, as I got older, I was like, dang, nah, this guy's really, he is really that guy. He is. He's, mm-hmm. he's different. Yeah. I still don't like. This is mad controversial, but I still don't like. He's in the top five, but like, mm-hmm. I, I'm just not a Kobe fan. Like, I'm yeah. not. I was never like. I don't want go back and like watch Kobe highlights. I never even watch Kobe highlights. Like, I would. Yeah. Something was on. I like. I remember watching the sixty point game, but mm-hmm. I cared more about the Warriors. Yeah. <laughs> winning the seventy three, the seventy third game. To be honest. That is true. Yeah. That season, yeah, twenty was that sixteen? Yeah, sixteen. Yeah. And then Crazy. the boys at the dub, the finals. So I'm not a Cavs fan, but I'm a You're LeBron, a LeBron fan. fan. fan yeah. yeah. So I couldn't catch shit about the Lakers. Mm-hmm. Got Lakers shirt. Yeah, I know. I because hey. I got it, I got it from the Staples Center, Guys, so it's like. What, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> the Lakers colors like they look good. They got, do look good. So, mm-hmm. but anyways, back into you. Let's um. How did you get into basketball? So. You know what? That was a perfect topic to lead into it Absolutely. because I got into ball not because of I wanted to play ball. Yeah. I wanted to buy some fucking LeBrons. LeBron kicks. God, we have a similar story. Uh huh. Really? So yeah, my, like, what was yours? So I remember um, I would have been let's say ten or something, uh-huh. and my mom, I a friends of mine were wearing a Lakers and a Bulls hat, mm-hmm. and I I really remember those you know those two tapes. And mum was like, we were at Paddy's Markets of all places, and. My brother, being the younger brother, he always beat the favorite. Yeah. He's like, oh, I want a Lakers out. So I'm like, okay, fuck it. I'll get a Bulls out. Yeah. And then I know I got 2K at some point. And then 
I was just like, why don't I go play basketball? And then I, I was like, what are those cringy like little basketball kids that had the full fucking arm, double arm <laughs> sleeves and shit. No, we, everyone does that now though. So you're, you're ahead of Now I just time. wear the leg sleeve. Like, I rather like, like this, this fit here, the short, uh-huh. short and the long, long sleeve. Long sleeves, yeah. But go back into your story. Yeah, so for me, oh, man, I hate, I hate saying this. What yeah, is yeah. it? It wasn't even the signature shoe. It was a LeBron soldier. Mm. Yeah. It oh, was a, shit. It was a LeBron soldier. Shit, I don't know. It had, it had a strap and it was great. One of my classmates had it in the Philippines yeah. when I was in grade five. I was like, must be like the first or hard. second one because yeah. they only done like 14 or something. Mm-hmm. I think this was 15. Oh, we're remember. in 14 now. I'd say it's like the sixth Six. or the fifth. Like yeah, it was yeah, yeah. 2010. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so you started playing like around the same time. That's mm-hmm. too funny. Yeah. So yeah, I got into it and, you know, being Filipino, everyone like in our neighborhood would play ball. We had this local, you know, yeah. made up hoop, like with just some wood and then a hoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. into it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we'd all play into it. We'd all play on it. And then, yeah. Yeah. Hit, hit the cars that are parked on the side. Oh, my. <laughs> Best part about it. No shoes, you know, oh, in flip flops. Jesus. I'm trying to think. Oh, no, I didn't make a team in year five. That's right. I didn't make a team. I was uh, that shit. I didn't make it. T- you didn't make a team? They have like 11 teams. Were this, you in? At the junior school. Junior school, yeah. yeah. So I didn't make a team. And then I was, I was, I'm like, I'm going to be, I'm going to make a team. Uh, and I made the Jays. And I was like. Fuck. Dang, bro. This is a Jordan story. Right. right. And then I, then by you, then for you seven, I'm like, fuck. I'm going to make, I'm going to make A's and B's, made mm-hmm. B's. Then the That's next year, show. they picked me in B's. I'm like. Mm-hmm. And then after like one game, they moved me up because I was yeah. just too good. Hey, flex on them, flex on them. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I started playing 2010 because of some. I wanted to get some LeBrons, and in my head, I'm like, "How am I gonna get basketball shoes if I don't play ball?" Yeah, so yeah, then, fair point. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna be able to convince my my Asian parents yeah, to yeah. get some shoes that I'm not gonna wear for the right occasion. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. How do you feel about people that wear basketball shoes when they're not playing basketball? Depends what type of shoes, but not. I'm talking like actually like performance, like basketball performance. Jordans. Obviously, it's fine. Yeah. Back in the day, though, that was. That was fine. Like yeah, I, we I was, all did that. I was wearing my LeBron tens with some, bro, goddamn, some big ass cargo shorts. And, <laughs> <laughs> you know the elite. Like kick socks. genius style. Yeah, like yeah, everyone, yeah. everyone literally looked like that, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, have your LeBron tens, some elite socks, and you see the little stripe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, even up till now, I'm wearing elite socks. Like, just, just stick. Socks to is you. socks. It's uh, alright. Yeah, with the stripe, you know, yeah. big ass cargo shorts mm-hmm. and some. Nike graphic tee, like they'll say, like just do it, yeah, yeah, matching yeah. the shoes. Yeah, the full kick change that was, yourself. That was That's... the fit. Uh huh. Like I was wearing my KDs. Where yeah, I had, yeah. Like these KD fives. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I remember those. It was funny too, cause you'd be like, let's say, I was in like year seven. Mm-hmm. You'd be like five three in some size eleven shoes, cause you still had to grow into them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm uh, looking like a fucking clown. <laughs> <laughs> I remember wearing Kobe's, like, mm-hmm. I wore all these uh, Kobe 8s. Yeah. And I loved them. I need some. They, was, they were the best. They were honestly even some of my favorite. Like, sh- oh, actually, oh, I do really like the, the PG 5s. Five, uh, fives. I, had, I think I had them too. They were really good. Yeah. But, like, the Kobe's, the Kobe 8s were, like, the best, in my opinion. Uh huh. And then I didn't, obviously, I was, like, what, like, 13. Cause I had them, I bought them in America when you can legit just walk into any store and yeah. get them. And now they sell for like, now you gotta get a raffle probably like a K uh-huh. some yeah. shit. And, um, Sucks. I would wear them everywhere. I remember wearing them. I, I think I played footy in them or something. I would, that's what's up. No, I had holes yeah. in the bottom and shit, but like I was, I was obsessed. And now I look back, I'm like, if I say someone walking around, it's mm-hmm. always happens at uni and they're wearing a, like a pair of fucking KDs or something. I'm just like, Oh my fucking God. No, it is kind of strange. It's so weird. Yeah. Cause it's just like the style back then. Yeah, yeah. It it was it was a trend, like it was a style. Absolutely. But now it's like if if you wear that, I'm like nah, take them off. I'll wear them to yeah. the court. Absolutely. And I can be comfy. What do you like? What will you wear like casually? Like I say the one. Casu- yeah, I just I just got mad. some Jordan One Lows. They're dope. I love them. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, they're they're cool. Like normally, oh, fuck. Normally now I yeah. wear Crocs. Yeah, yeah, really? So, yeah. <laughs> hey, I don't judge. I got a pair. I don't wear them ever. But yeah, no, we need Crocs. Croc. If you're not into Crocs, get in them. <laughs> you need to get into them. Yeah, feel that. You'll get them, and then you won't stop wearing them. Cause you know, yeah. I got, I got some shoes. Like I don't have the biggest collection, but I got, I got. You got some good. Too. Yeah, you got some good stuff. But I will not wear them because I got my Crocs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's fair. just I go. To, let's say I go to play ball. 
wearing my Crocs. <laughs> and I have my, my kicks that I'm going to put in, in my bag. Yeah, yeah. I feel that. No, I go to work on my car. I'm wearing Crocs. <laughs> and they're white too. So they're like, well, they used to be white. Now they're like brown. Yeah. <laughs> I'm <clears throat> fucking up my voice. Sorry. <clears throat> You're good. I'm obsessed with the dunks at the moment. Dunks? Yeah. Yeah, I want to get into them too, but... Um, they're so nice. Mm-hmm. I got like four pairs. And I'm about to like... I'm waiting for the next couple paychecks to come in. Yeah. And I'm going to get a pair of... I know it's on the hype train, but I gotta get a pair of the panda ones. Pandas, uh, yeah. I have to. Everyone, everyone wants them. They're, they're like cool. under four hundred now, like in my yeah, size. Yeah, because they've they've restocked them so many times. Absolutely, you can get them a lot easier. But the yeah. thing is, I still gotta pay like an, I always because I'm size thirteen, so I'm always paying an extra. Yeah, I got big ass feet, bro. Damn, bro, you got boats. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so like, but I got a pair of bread elevens, and I'm I was like to my brother because we sold his. He was like eleven, I wanna say. Mm-hmm. We sold his. He didn't he didn't want them. He wore them one time. We sold them. Yeah. For like just a bit over retail mm-hmm. and i'm i'm like if you would have waited like a year yeah now my size are like 900 dollars. uh-huh yeah because the bigger size is a little bit harder to oh, get. oh man it's ridiculous like a pair of dunks i got used this is still pissing me off i got the ucla dunks mm-hmm. i got them i paid three i want to say 350 which i was all right no it was like 320 which i was, yeah. I was all right with because i really wanted them mm-hmm. and then the next day i see a post they're coming out uh-huh. Oh, in Foot Locker, and I'm like, are you fucking serious? I just spent <laughs> like double over retail because yeah, right. retail for dunks is like 160. Uh huh. Yeah, they are. They're they're like re- that's why a lot of people get them because mm-hmm. 160 they sell them for even 250. That's a 90 dollar fr- profit. So they yeah. honestly might be more comfortable. It's controversial mm-hmm. than Air Forces. Air Force is big as fuck, but I still wear them. I love Air Forces. <laughs> yeah. My big thing is I hate wearing a shoe that's it, the same color throughout the whole shoe, so I would never buy it. Pair of all whites. All white. I have Never. I have some all whites, but they're like my beater. Yeah, yeah. Like all white shoes, cause I, you know, sometimes I wanna, you know, I wanna look clean going to the zoo. Yeah. I'm not finna wear Concord Elevens. Yeah. I'm gonna wear my beat up Air Force Ones to the zoo. That's what I mean. Trying to uh, Concord. So that like ups, saying Concord Elevens, it like upsets me. I'll tell you why. Huh? So I was I, my favorite short time. I got them. Oh, the breads. Yeah. So I got them. Concord's was like probably my second favorite. Second, yeah. I love I really Elevens. Like mine. Yeah, and then I was trying to get. I literally was. I went to the Jordan store in mm-hmm. America, and I was like a little bit late, so I didn't have my size. But then I'm talking to the guy, and he's like, "Yeah, I have a size 13. My personal pair that he was willing to sell me. Yeah, retail and everything. Damn, all right. And this was this was my broke boy stage. So I had. I, I, this was like near the end of our America trip. Mm-hmm. This is like, what, when did they come out? Twenty. I want to say 2017. No, it was 18. 18, mm-hmm. 18. So it was the end of the trip and I had no money. I had like maybe $300 left and I was like, but I still got to eat. I, don't, I hate, I, when I get home from back from like a holiday, I always want to have like a little bit more money that mm-hmm. I didn't spend over. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, fuck. And I didn't get them. Yeah, and, I, and now I'm looking at prices and they're like, Yeah, nah. they're going up. But I feel like they re-release every, I mean, it takes a while, but every yeah. like 10 years, 7 yeah. years, something like that. So you just gotta be patient. Right. Right? Like, I'm looking at the um, the none the cherries. They're like the white version of oh, the yeah. breads. I'm mm-hmm. trying to get those, but those. Oh yeah, I kind of like I kind of like those. I'm, I, I like them, but then I'm like, how the hell am I gonna get them? Because like, I got with the breads, I got mad lucky. Like I was in I was in LA, funnily yeah. enough. Oh right. Lined up in some really ghetto area. Yeah, I I lined up at um. Actually, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'm, I lined up. In the, the store, yeah. and that shit was just like there, and I got them for my serious? friends and the oh. Concords too. What? Yeah, just went to a store. Bro, oh, one of them was closed now, so I can say it. But yeah. it's in the city. It was like this back street. I forgot what. I think Market Market Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not the not the big one, mm-hmm. like in front of Town Hall. It's the one closer to Westfield. Yeah, they yeah, closed yeah, yeah. That one, they opened a new one on the same street. Oh yeah, right, yeah. Um, oh my god, another shop we talk about. Yeah, it used to be like it was, it was this little shop, maybe. The shop was slightly bigger than this one. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I know. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. I can't because I went in there once and I I didn't know the resale what resale prices were like. Uh huh. And I went there. I'm like, ah, um, see you later. Walking straight out. Uh, yeah. No, when you're in high school, bro, you're super broke. Oh mate, I'm just like, like all you like. I was relying on like birthday money. Yeah, same as me. Was, yeah, like that was it every year. And I when I worked, it wasn't. I wouldn't. I would work maybe like 
couple like because I did after school care during high school. Oh what? Yeah, How yeah. How'd you do that? Yeah, I well, there's a school down the road in my house. Then. Oh okay. I was we we were close with like the principal, mm-hmm. and we'll, so we'd go play basketball all the time. And then one of the after school ladies was like, "Would you want to come down and teach kids how to play basketball?" Oh okay. I'm like, yeah, why not? And then I got the job. Mm-hmm. That's good. I wasn't even trying to get a job or anything. I just yeah. was trying like, just trying to hoop and like yeah. show these kids how to play. But then I would work there. Oh mate, I was there for like a yeah a little bit. That's what's up. You like working with kids? Yeah, somewhat, yeah. somewhat. I don't miss it, but like, because it's just it was such an it's an effort. Like mm-hmm. especially after school, the schools I worked at. Yeah. As well, mm-hmm. and some of the kids are crazy, man. Yeah, no, I feel you. I'm, I'm wild, teaching, so uh, yeah. Wild. <laughs> but um, Pat, so like, tell us about what's your favorite shoe of all time, and then like, what's in the what's in the rotation at the moment? Give me some like hoop shoes. Give me your favorite hoop shoe. Favorite hoop shoe? Favorite casual. It's like Jordan or whatever the hell it is. All right. And then give me like your rotation at the moment. Yeah, that makes it a lot easier because mm-hmm. like I was looking at the questions you sent me. I was like, one shoe, bro? Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, it kind of limits it. Yeah. Um, all right, hoop shoe right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I only got two. I have my KD-14s. I think that... Yeah, yeah, the 14s. ones with the straps. Yeah, the ones with yeah, the Yeah, they're good. And I have my Mellows, the Rick and Morty ones. Oh, the, I, yeah, yeah, I got yeah. pretty lucky on those, but yeah. I, w- I would have said, like, if they were brand new, mm-hmm. like, both of them were brand new, I would say the Mellows, mm-hmm. because when they are brand new, aside from the materials being, like, kind of cheap, yeah, they were really fucking good. They were comfy. Really? They had good grip. But then it deteriorated so quickly, bro. Like, that's what I'm saying about the materials being yeah, really yeah, cheap. Yeah. I was slipping everywhere. Like, the first, I made a review on this, too, on yeah, I TikTok. Yeah, I like, did. I should shout been, out it kind of sucks because it, it's like getting hella views and i gave it super good reviews and puma commented on it wait really yeah, yeah they commented i was like that's Damn, mad that's kind of crazy but yeah like i just made a review because i really like them but then literally like maybe a couple of days after i posted i was like this is kind of shit now maybe i'm like <laughs> sliding everywhere god damn then like some parts are just like you know there's like this plastic eyelid like where the shoelace yeah yeah, yeah yeah it's like it started breaking off oh like, shit so then i'm only playing it maybe once a week and then to now where i play in them maybe once a month oh really yeah, it's that bad like i just don't want to ruin them because they they look nice and so i'm trying to get yeah. lebron 20s lebron 20s they look cool i like them. but they not like they sold out everywhere already yeah and then I mean, oh, look, damn. well i don't know if they came out in australia yet, yeah but i wanted the kd 15s People the like those. Ones? Yeah, because yeah. they're low tops. So yeah. yeah. I don't know cool. if I do it on the KD. I always buy the KD. I really want these LeBrons. But yeah. I have them. Um, I just bought the Jordan 36s, the lows. Oh, how are those? Like, I, and I, I got these like Luka Doncic PAs and I was like, damn, they're sick. Like blue and green. Yeah. Something super different. And then I put, I'm like, I try to keep wearing them, but they just hurt my feet. Damn. They must be narrow because I feel like Jordans are narrow. But I, because, oh yeah, I've never worn Jordan Master shoes before, but I was like, they, the color, I didn't even care what they were, they just, they just looked sick. Yeah. And then, like, I've hooped in them probably, like, ten times. And Gave no. up. Retired. So Hang I just up. wear, I just usually just wear PG5s, which are like, what? Yeah. Like, they're cheap. Yeah, they're I think cheap. I had a pair. I th- Oh, no, I did, but I popped the bubble on one of them. Oh, really? Yeah. How like, the, the Zoom bag inside. How the hell did you do that? Oh, no, I was just, where, where was, oh, I was in this, um, have you heard of... How do you say his name? Brefo? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the tick, yeah, the yeah. Okay. Like, I was there with Alex, and then, like, I was just, we're shooting around. I think I landed, and I was like, dang, my right foot's, like, sinking no, into the shoe. No, brutal. Yeah. I've worn them, I think I've worn them probably a hundred times, I'm not going to lie to you. They're good? They're hey, still good? Oh, mate, they're still good. Yeah. That might go to, like, I wear that or the Giannis's, but not the new ones, the Giannis's mm-hmm. from last year. I don't even know what we're up to. I haven't the been four, up. I think? Oh, okay. I'm so bad with bought the shoes yeah. now as well. The honestly are, are kind of crazy. They're like they're, they're like, like Kobe. They're like a better version. Of the, uh-huh. They're like a they're a more like less flimsy version of a Kobe, in oh, my okay. opinion. Nah, dude, they look hella aggressive. No, I look they at do. them. They look like a like a McLaren. Oh, mate, they're so good. The ones I have are like sick. I'd wear them like oh, wear, honestly. They're like probably my go tos. Like mm-hmm. all my new stuff, I'm not even wearing. Yeah, because you're just the, rocking the old ones. Because yeah, it's more comfortable. Like yeah. I'm wearing. I got these Kyrie Nike IDs. The mm-hmm. another controversial guy. Oh uh, yeah. Come on, Sam. I don't know. I got a Nike guy date him, and I got him like with the name of the podcast and stuff on like the side. That's cool. Yeah. And yeah, they're just like, they, I, don't, I don't know. They just like, they feel big and like, they feel weird. I'm going to wear them today. Oh, like, really? I just don't like the way they feel. Is that the the infinity? Yeah, the one, the big, the big like mid tops. Yeah. I, I hate wearing mid top shoes. But oh, okay. 
I was like, yeah. let me, it goes with the purple and grey. And they, they're they like all grey and then I like got purple and grey like on the oh, side. Oh, damn. I want to yeah. ID some shoes. They're worth it because you only, might only pay like $100 more yeah. if that. Mm-hmm. Like you get that like one-on-one kind Absolutely. of look. Yeah. And then what was your, we completely went off topic. But uh-huh, so yeah. What no, was, we'll be talking about yeah, shoes. No. So what's your most, your favorite uh, casual stuff you're at the moment? Casual right now? Yeah. Crocs. Um, <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. Um, Damn, like casual sneaker, like a mm. proper casual mm-hmm, sneaker. Mm-hmm. That's probably the toughest one because I'm trying to like, I'm teetering in the line of, do I go with the one that I really like how it looks or the yeah. one that I wear the most? Because like these, give me, these give Jordan me, 1 lows. Give me both then. Yeah, these Jordan 1 lows, the ones I wear the most because it's black and, or it's like pearl white. So yeah, it looks, looks good with black shorts or pants uh-huh. as well. Like it's, it's easy to wear. Mm-hmm. But oh, dang, I don't even know which one I really, really. Probably, we'll go with the Concord. Like, yeah, yeah, that's tough. Like I, I don't wear them often because I, I want to like keep them clean. They're hella dirty too. Like I shot around in them and everything. Oh really? So yeah. I can never hoop in my Jordan. Really? Nah, I couldn't. No, I, I wear my shoes, but I try to like keep them clean. Yeah. But yeah, I'm a believer in wear your kicks. That's why. Oh, I'm, you have to. Yeah. I'm the same. Like with my breads, I wear them. I love that. It's my favorite pair, and they actually like comfortable as well, which helps. Yeah. But I only wear them like. I'm gonna say once a month, a couple times Damn. a month, if that. I, oh, that's too much. Not gonna lie. I, I swear, <laughs> I like. I can't remember the last time I wore them. I just chuck a pair of Dunks on now. Like, oh, I chuck. A, oh, actually, I draw one. I have these pair of shadow backwards, not mm-hmm. the like the f- one of the recent ones. So it's like yeah. all white, black, and then got like the orange on the top. Oh yeah, yeah. I right. wear. I've worn those a couple times. I like mm-hmm. they're mad comfy as well. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Jordan so. 1s. I like the. I just like how Jordan 1s look. Like they look highs sick. And lows. Yeah, the mid. Don't. Not, I don't know about the mids. Yeah, yeah. bro. If you wear mids, sorry. Mm-hmm. Don't talk to me. <laughs> yeah. And so. Now my boys wear Jordan 1 lows. It's like kids, my mates that don't even know anything about Jordans. Uh-huh. They'll think, got, oh, yeah, that's a Nike dunk. No, like my shit. mate, um, my mate's got like three pairs of them. Mm-hmm. He's more pairs of lows than I have one pair. But like, yeah. They're surprisingly comfy. And they, they are. You know what? They got really fucking good traction. Really? Yeah, if they have if that's one thing Jordan did good, like in their first shoe, it's yeah. attraction. Like, you know, have comfort. you hooped in those? I haven't, but no, I'll like I'll run yeah, like yeah. in the house and then you'll hear that <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it'll just squeak and I'm like, whoa, damn. Yeah, I'll give you that. The Jordans I have, the, the uncomfortable ones they are. Uh huh. Quite yeah, they good they do yeah, have good they traction. Stick, bro. So I don't know, I might try playing <coughs> these. See how see That's how wild, well. bro. Yeah. I couldn't do it. No. Probably lose a kneecap and then Right. Because these <laughs> oh, body amber would be body cord. It seems like it. Yeah. Um. So what, what about so Concord's favorite all time as well? I think so. Yeah. Like I, that's the one that jumps out to me first. Is there anything you're trying to buy within like the next like anything you've seen like on, I don't know on race selling websites These, um, or come the out soon? Jordan ones, the lost and founds. Yeah. So they're like the Chicago's but vintage. Yeah, they're yeah, hard. Like, I really like the the vintage look. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to get those and these. I don't know if you've heard of them, but they're New Balance 2002 R's. Are they the oh, really like, dad shoe looking ones? Yeah, they're they're like dad shoe looking, but it's it's called it's the protection pack. So it's got it's like hella vintage, like with rips and stuff. Oh man, like it looks yeah. I like the way they look. That's and sick. It's like, I'm colorblind. I think they're purple. So yeah, they're like purple, maybe blue. Oh man, yeah, that's so I, dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like them with like jeans and stuff. So yeah. so you're colorblind and. You wear glasses, all well. uh-huh. that's brutal. Yeah, oh no, my I, god. I can see traffic signs. So okay, that's good. Yeah. That's good. One thing I want to talk about because I've seen the shirt and mm-hmm. this isn't even written down because like I'm, the anime. Where did the anime love come from? I don't know shit about anime, so For you real? have to teach me a little bit. Yeah, but you like, gotta you gotta get into it, bro. Everyone's getting into it. Or not everyone, but there's a lot of people getting into it. Are you consider yourself a weebo? Is that what the? Oh, do you consider yourself yeah, a weebo? That's hope. Oh, somewhat, mm-hmm. like a little, like a good amount. But I'm more of a, just like a mainstream anime kind of okay, so like what? i haven't gone that That's, far yeah like whatever is popular i might have seen it i can only watch the stuff that's in english mm-hmm. the only english stuff. Oh, i don't yeah. know, I, I don't know if I, like subtitles just mm-hmm. give me like brain aneurysms yeah. to be honest i used to be like an english like i used to watch in english because in the philippines they translate it in english yeah, yeah, yeah. like because I, w- I would watch them in cartoon network yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So, like, what's your favorite anime? Do you like a top five or something? I have a, oh, a top five. Is that too many? I feel like that's harder than Is kicks. It the, like, <laughs> the really? Uh-huh. Because it, it'd be depending on my mood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like, that. Sometimes it's just like, nah, this show was like my life. 
Way. Then, like, yeah, like, Fuck. I'll be learning a lot from anime. Like, you just see them, like, oh, their morals and stuff. Yeah, when I'm older, like, when I was a kid, when I'm older, I need to be, yeah, like, yeah, I need yeah, to yeah. think like this guy, mm-hmm. you know? Like, this one, I'm wearing Dragon Ball Z t-shirt. I was going to guess that, because yeah. that's, like, the most famous one. Uh-huh, so, yeah, it's, there's a uh, future Trunks, and then future Trunks in Super Saiyan. That's him as a kid. So, yeah, like, Dragon Ball Z was probably one of the first few ones yeah, I yeah. watched. Like, all the way back in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. When my parents were telling me this mm. probably like I don't know if they're like the some people might be superstitious but apparently like when you're pregnant if you watch like whatever you watch if you watch something a lot your son would yeah that's your true kid would have something to do with it yeah, yeah. my mom was saying she watched she, she binge watched Dragon Ball Z when she no was pregnant way with me. so yeah I was like dang all right that's wild that's <laughs> yeah too she's funny. always like when I buy like any anime things like you know those Funko Pops yeah yeah of course like, when I buy something she'll be like when you're older you're gonna get sick of this I'm like ma I've been I'm like I'm 22 now and I'm still <laughs> like from I've been birth, going mate, from yeah. birth uh huh like I'm 22 years strong into anime I don't mm-hmm. think I'm gonna ever let it go. I've never seen an episode. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, that's fine. Like, it's, it's not for everyone. Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna be out here. No, you have to. <laughs> you have to watch. I have friends. I do have friends that are. Yeah. You're like, missing out on life if you don't know how to. If you've never tried to go Super Saiyan. One time. <laughs> <laughs> so you got Dragon Ball Z, obviously. Mm-hmm. What else? What, yeah. yeah. Okay. So how about this? Someone getting into anime. What would you tell them to watch? Someone getting into anime. It's like oh. me. Say I wanted to watch anime. What What would you recommend? Hmm. I think something short. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking something not too long mm-hmm. or maybe something like recent. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. And definitely not Attack on Titan because it's it's too good. Yeah. That if you watch that first, you'll be like, no, everything else is kind of trash. Mm-hmm. So Attack on Titan is up there, but you watch that like later down the yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's that. really fucking good. Mm-hmm. So maybe something modern like... Ooh, maybe Jujutsu Kaisen. Like, I recently only just watched that too. Mm-hmm. I really like it. And, or maybe like Demon Slayer. I've heard that's really yeah. good. Mm-hmm. But the movies for those two are... Well, they're making modern. movies as well as TV yeah, shows. Yeah, so like, with Demon Slayer, they adapted, they made the movie and then they made it into a second season. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, okay. they can ex- expand on the story. Yeah, yeah, more. for sure. And then with Jujutsu Kaisen, that one's, uh, yeah, season one. Like, I think it only just came out, like, two years ago. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, like, season one, and then they made the movie mm-hmm. as, like, a prequel to season yeah, one. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, know. yeah, those two. Like, because they're I'm recent, learning. and, yeah, they're, I, I enjoyed them. So, uh-huh. yeah, and then after that, Attack on Titan, you'd be, like, peak, mm-hmm. peak anime. Maybe at some point mm-hmm. we'll say yeah. we'll say try it out and even hey. people are just watching it you can try to try it out if you haven't hey text text Pat if mm-hmm. you want to know about yeah. anime or if you, if you want to go like super long you can watch Dragon Ball Naruto uh, One Piece that shit is still going it's a thousand episodes long Jesus Christ it's still going yeah I haven't watched it mm-hmm. but I have a few friends who have and they're like yeah it's good that's wild mm-hmm. anyways um, let's see oh TikTok so where did this TikTok TikTok. Phenomenal. Um, yeah, how did you how did you get in? Yeah, start us from the start. Uh huh. When did when did TikTok? Oh well, I had Musically. Oh yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I had Musically in like 2016, but it was like it was on private, so you know I just had my friends. Yeah, yeah. Re, you know, do all that shit. With yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Songs, and then yeah, I kept the app, and then eventually I was like, oh, shit, became TikTok. Like it used yeah. to be Musically, like with white and the red circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it became TikTok. Yeah. Like, all right. And then people started getting back into it. I want to say 2019 yeah. was when that happened. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I made a new account because the other one's a little bit too cringy. So, <laughs> yeah, I made a new account. I was just I was just dancing. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was really just dancing for fun. And mm. then I was like, you know, let's put it on public, whatever. Like, yeah, yeah. let my friends follow. And then if anyone else want to fuck with me, then, yeah, follow uh-huh. along. And then, yeah, so, you know, I was just... It wasn't anything big. Like, I would get, you know, maybe like 100 views. So, I was, you know, I was just whatever because yeah, I was yeah. just having fun. Just chilling. Yeah, yeah. yeah I feel and that. then with the 75 day challenge. So, that's like where is, most people know me from. Like, is that when the basketball, is that, was that like the first basketball videos? Yeah, you like did? pretty much. Like, maybe I put uh, a video before of me or with a basketball, but yeah. not, not in, it hasn't been specific like, to just playing ball. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like this was early this year. Where did this come up? The seventy-five day challenge. Yeah, Why like, did you decide to do it? 
I saw I saw someone before do like they wanted to do 75 day fitness challenge. Yep. So yeah, I was like, you know, 75 days is a good number. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that. so I uh, you know, we'll rock with 75 and it was mostly to prove to myself that I could be disciplined uh-huh. and like I could keep doing something. Uh-huh. Because that's probably one thing I struggled with like even in high school what I was saying earlier like I wish I'd put more time into this. Because yeah. I feel like when I was younger I wasn't disciplined enough to really you know care enough about something so i didn't you know i might not have i didn't have a trajectory yeah where i wanted to go so the first thing was basketball because i really i really fuck with it i really liked it mm-hmm. so you know i wanted to go 75 days every day working out even just doing something like even some days where it was raining and the, all the indoor courts were booked out i'd dribble inside my bedroom yeah, yeah. dribble in the garage or something so yeah there was that and i started i filmed it because i wanted to see the progress and look back yeah yeah but i didn't actually want to i didn't want to post i didn't want to do any like really? social media things like yeah i was just filming because i wanted to see the progress mm-hmm. and then i saw someone else do something similar yep. i think they did i forgot what his name is but i, I really i followed them and everything yeah yeah and that he kind of looked like j cole <laughs> what the fuck is his name but yeah, uh, like I saw he grinded for the Tobias rest of Harris. the year. Hmm? It's Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris? No, yeah. no, it wasn't Tobias. <laughs> but like he looks like homeless J. Cole now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Tobias Harris looked like young J. Cole. Yeah, he does, to be fair. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah, I saw him. He grinded the rest of the year. Yeah, I yeah. Was like, I want to I wanna do something similar to this. Because mm-hmm. I already had the footage. So that, I think I started January, like let's say January 3rd. Mm-hmm maybe four days later yeah i was like oh let me just chop it up make it into a 45 second video that i can post on tiktok yeah and then yeah i posted it and then had i don't even know i had a few people watch it and i was like oh okay i guess people really like this so then yeah, yeah. i just kept it going like i posted the rest of the days that i was record i've recorded so i could catch up yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, I followed along. It was from every other day I'd be posting, or mm. every day I'd be posting from the previous day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like, I caught it up. And then, yeah, like, people were following, people were liking, commenting. So that's why like, I saw it, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, it popped up on my For You page, and mm-hmm. I'm like, and I commented, I didn't even know. I was like, shit, mad. I can't yeah. remember what I commented, but I, because I, I didn't even know you had a TikTok. Yeah, it's, it's, like, not, it's like you, you weren't posting on your Instagram or anything mm-hmm. about it. It's just, yeah, and I'm just like, posting there. And I'm like, yo, is that Pat? Like, uh-huh. what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> but I was mad. Like, to be able to do 75, how, how long were you, like, each day? Was it, like, hooping for an hour or the day? It was you definitely for, like, three at hours? Least, it was at least an hour. Because, okay. yeah, some days, it was tiring, bro. Like, when Not I finished, imagine. I was like, oh, finally. Like, damn, I feel yeah. like I graduated high school all yeah, over yeah. again. But, yeah, like, it was a lot of mental things. Like, oh, I, what I would didn't you wanna, say? I didn't want to do this yeah so that, like i really didn't want to work out but mm-hmm. it was working on that discipline like i have to work out for even just at least an hour yeah yeah like an hour is short but it's also a lot like you can do oh, a no, lot. for sure yeah what was like your biggest challenge you reckon throughout it oh man it was like juggling everything because at the start i yeah. started january so i university started back up in yeah feb, feb yeah yeah like mid-feb. february yeah mid feb yeah. so i had let's say a month a month of just work and ball yeah yeah so it was it was a lot easier i was only juggling two things yeah yeah and then when i started back university dude i was hella behind on all the assignments really so yeah like i had to that was the hardest part that was the hardest time because yeah. i would have to go into campus but also i'd have to like get at least an hour of ball and so i'd be going into the camp the gym in the campus and then I'd play there for like half an hour, go somewhere else after my second class, and then yeah, yeah, like get the footage. Could you just go hoop? Like, I genuine question because I don't know this. Can you just go to UTS and just hoop whenever at that court? If it's booked, you won't be able to. But yeah, you can. You can oh, just really? go in. Mm-hmm. That it does get booked hella often though because of like all the sports. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah go just on, go, in. go on though. But yeah, like I, that was the biggest challenge was mm. juggling all three things, things at once, at yeah. once, and yeah, like also. It, it wasn't free. Like, yeah. I, I prefer indoor. I could have played outdoor, which I did a few times. Yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, I'm not getting paid this week. I'm like, yeah, 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 I have yeah. to play outside the yeah, next yeah. couple of days. But yeah. And yeah, so like work. There was this 
school work social balance that, yeah well that was everything hard. yeah i would imagine yeah. but yeah it was it was hard but it was something that was achievable so yeah you know i just i wanted to get the 75 days in like for myself and mm-hmm. then yeah i saw that other people really like seeing it too and you know people following commenting liking and shit yeah, so it's mad. yeah i was like yeah you know i'll keep putting it up like for, sure. for your enjoyment but yeah at the end of the day this is for me yeah and absolutely. i want to first make sure that like i can do it and then yeah so that was the that was the hardest thing because yeah yeah there was a lot it was a lot to juggle yeah i would imagine what's like, um what about like what's something you like learn uh, what's something you learn about yourself and then mm-hmm. obviously then what's yeah. your biggest um your biggest what's oh fuck what's um something that you feel like you're way better at now on the court on court on court yeah uh let's start off with that one yeah okay i'm more more aggressive i'm a little bit more aggressive oh, when yeah. i have the ball yeah, like, yeah you know in high school i was fucking bench warmer we were in the same team I was <laughs> killing. hey i was warming up the bench <laughs> like yeah they put me in garbage time oh hell yeah <laughs> fucking but, hell yeah so like i'm a lot more aggressive now i'm willing to take the shot yeah like take any shots uh, even if it even if i don't score like 25 points just as long as you stay i feel like that's important you stay yeah. aggressive so that you know defenders actually want to defend you and they're not just leaving you mm-hmm. open so yeah that's one thing and yeah i feel like i've enjoyed it a lot more as well oh, that's good like i really really like playing ball like when i was in my placement i was like oh, I just want to go play ball. So at lunch, I'd go play with the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I started getting, uh, like, it was a, it was constructive criticism. Yeah. But, like, I really shouldn't be out in, at lunchtime playing ball with the kids. So, yeah, yeah, I had to, like, dial it back a bit. I was like, damn, I'm kind of losing my mind. I want to go play ball. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. So, yeah, I've, I guess one thing I learned or that I'm better at is yeah. I really like it more. Like I, yeah, I yeah. really love the game of basketball and yeah. I'm a lot more aggressive and willing to, you know, play my game and show people like yeah. what I've been working on. No, it's mad. I respect yeah. it. Are you I'm playing not. like an act- any actual teams or? No, I'm just, I'm just playing for fun. Like I, I do like, really? the, I like the change of scenery and just playing against, you know, some, sometimes it's like playing runs and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I don't get to do that often now. Cause like in Southwest, like where I live, mm-hmm. it's not that big unless it's outside, and I'm really not fucking with that. Yeah, outside. I play outside. Uh, That's why like the best about AUSA. Uh-huh. Like I'll just go. I only go there. Yeah, That's yeah. I it. wish I'd hope they open one Southwest Sydney. Uh, hopefully, at some point, I. Uh, There'll be something surely like. Yeah. Or yeah, even yeah. just like in West, like out West, I'll travel out West. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you did the seventy-five days, mm-hmm. and then. What, what what was your mind like from that? Were you like, oh, what do I do next? Yeah, that I was think already thinking of what I wanted to do next, well, like well, while doing it. Yeah, because I kind of get in, got into the high of oh, people are watching me now. Yeah. So you know, I can't just let this die down. Mm-hmm. And then and also yeah, I just I generally had fun making those videos. And, yeah. Yeah, and like interacting with people, commenting, saying, mm-hmm. oh, you could do this better. I'll be like, oh, appreciate you. Yeah. So then I'll you know I'll fix that up. And they'll see it in the next video. Oh, you did the thing I said. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Mad. Or, yeah, I also worked with uh, this trainer in my area. So he was really good. Yeah. So, what, yeah, talking about that guy. He's mm-hmm. also fucking yeah, break- going blowing off on TikTok as well. Yeah, breakdown basketball. Nay. Yeah, that's my, that's the guy right there. Like, when he was, he didn't even have, or I don't know if it's his own gym now because I haven't spoken to him in yeah. a while. But, yeah, like, he has this gym that he's training people in. And mm-hmm. it's crazy like i want to go in soon like once i've get i'm getting paid again i get my car fixed yeah. is it expensive um i'm not sure now but at the time it was 60 oh 60 really dollars for an hour and you i was learning a lot and i was dead by the end of the day really i had to like you know take work off in the afternoon when i'd work when i work out with him mm-hmm. because i was so tired You're just gonna, yeah yeah i loved it yeah I haven't, I haven't done anything like that in, bro i want to say like three years mm-hmm. it's really good you learn a lot i haven't even trained i haven't done a proper basketball practice and uh-huh. like i've done a couple of trials and stuff but like it's different yeah because you're playing for yourself mm-hmm. in basketball practice in, yeah. in trials you know yeah most of the time with me like why it's always solo videos is because there's really no one there mm. <laughs> like in in my area there's just not it's really jesus wait what's your local basketball court the indoor one indoor is it's called whitlam yeah, we, yeah 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 i feel like i played there oh okay yeah at some point 
it's like it's okay it's like below average yeah or maybe it's average wait and how, how long would it take you to drive to like AUSA oh if I take tolls it'd take me like 35 minutes oh that's not too bad yeah it's not too bad but I'm paying tolls bro yeah 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 it takes me like 20 25 mm-hmm. so like I just cop it yeah that's not too bad and yeah. do you have wait where do you living in I live like down the road oh okay 25 minutes damn yeah it's really that far yeah bro it's because it's huh. You go all the way through Moore Park and then turn on to Cleveland Street, yeah. Yeah, I see, I see. Yeah, because I used to live I used to live in Botany, so it's not too too far out here, but it's closer. Yeah, it's closer. Um far out, sorry. That's fine. Fucking cough. And then I see the dunk progress. The what what do you what what did you call it? The dunk Dunk Journey? Dunk Journey. Yeah, what was I saying? What's happening, baby? Back in the gym. Back in the gym. Yeah. um, That's funny as fuck. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah. I haven't been I haven't been working out. I've been skipping. I've been skipping. I see you trying to dunk, so now I'm a little bit more. Yeah, come on, man. Because uh-huh. I learned I I was able to dunk within. My big problem was mm-hmm. like when you you're gonna have to like lift heavy weights and oh, shit. Yeah. My thing, I just had to get the weight off. Mm-hmm. So I, like I lost ten kilos over yeah. the last fifty days. Yeah, no, I can see, bro. And like, that got me enough. I'm not like fucking yamming on people, but uh-huh. I can like jump you up with one one leg and mm-hmm. I can white boy dunk. But yeah. like, hey, a dunk is a dunk. Like, yeah. But, yeah, with me, I haven't been working out. So, what, well, like, what was the thoughts with that? Were you just like, fuck, I want to dunk? Yeah, look, I just yeah. want to dunk. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. if you scroll back, like, I had some videos of the 75 days where I was trying to dunk. And I was, like, getting somewhat close. Like, really? I'd, I'd get the ball and then, you know, I'd, what's it called? I'd get rim blocked. Rim blocked, yeah, 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 yeah. So, I, I was like, hey, you know, 5'7 Asian kid, I'm right, I'm right there. Bro, that's, that's impressive. Yeah, but then... My body started to get really tired towards the end, so I tried yeah. to do it less. Yeah, I feel and that. And then, you know, some days I'd feel bouncy and I'd try. Mm-hmm. And then I I don't count it as a dunk, but it was, like, pretty fucking close. Like, I did a self-lob. Mm-hmm. It bounced right on top of the rim, and I tipped it in. Yeah, so... Hey, like, that's impressive. Yeah. Like, it, it was a, you know, it was the self-lob right there, perfect. Boop. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Like, I, I know I can get up there, and then yeah. that's when... Like from that moment, I was like, "Dunk journey." I'm I'm gonna start that because yeah. I, I was I was close. So yeah, I was feeling it. Yeah. And then I did see some progress, but the main issue was I wasn't playing enough to actually jump. Yeah. Because yeah. that was the time when dunk journey started when I went into my placement. Yeah. Because I, I did two this year. The first one was like six weeks long. Yeah. So yeah, I started it and then I had to take six weeks off. Yeah, oh, and yeah. Then, you, yeah. You're working, buddy. What? Mm-hmm. Nine to was it? What time? Oh, no, pretty yeah, earlier. It was, yeah, it was like I was there like eight thirty. Yeah. There, yeah, eight thirty to. My teacher made me stay. My supervising teacher made me stay back to like six. Wait, what? Uh-huh. Like it was because there's actually a lot of work that teachers have to do. Yeah, it's I, insane. I feel that, but like till six, yeah. like goddamn. At least let me leave by four, uh-huh. and then let me do it at home or something. Yeah. Jesus. It is a lot, bro. Like, it, mm. it's, yeah, I feel like teachers get a bad rep, but there's a lot of shit that they bro, have to do. Bro, that's a fucking fat day, 10 hours, mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. But yeah, so yeah, I had to take, like, some time off, and then yeah. I had to slowly get back into it. I really, after the 75 days, I haven't gone seven days a week of playing ball, like, ever again. Yeah. But I know deep down I can do it, it's just that... I'm trying to get through this final just year. Just to manage everything, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, just get through this final year in university and then, you know, back into it. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, Dunk Journey is coming back. I, I said this like a hundred times, even on my account. We like, better <laughs> say it then. We better say it then. <laughs> yeah, we got to see it. Like, you, know, you got a video and an audio receipt of, uh-huh. of you can yeah. say I mean, it, I so. do have a video that I filmed like two weeks ago. I just forgot to, <laughs> forgot to edit. But yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to finish assignments. Once this is all done, I've got one this Friday. That's literally. Hey, it. there That's you go. It. So, back with like obviously, um, what do you find the hardest with dunking or trying to dunk? Hardest with trying to dunk yeah. is um, genetics. Yep, same. <laughs> Feel that. Yeah, because I'm not. I mean, I guess I'm kind of got bounced because I'm on the shorter side. Like I said. Yeah, like, yeah. Like in the Filipinos, this play ball short yeah. oh dang I just revealed the answer uh. nah it doesn't matter they found out mm-hmm. they'll find out they can tell put it in the comments if you know what the answer is uh-huh. yeah how tall am I? I think I might have said it at 1.2 how tall am I I guess how tall I am <laughs> but yeah 
Um, yeah, it was. It's mostly just genetics, but also because I'm right-handed. Yes. So I actually have to try dunk with my left hand because Wait, my right arm's like hella stiff. So really? I can reach higher with my left than I can That's with my so right. That's so weird. Yeah. So are you one foot or two jump? Two, two foot. Two oh. foot. Yeah. So I I've, I I I I get better off one. Off one. But yeah. then I I've dunked I've dunked ten foot with two. Oh okay yeah. Which is really weird, but I can't do it from the from the um from the left side. I I have to run in and then go. Oh with, yeah. With right because I'm I'm not super athletic. I have uh-huh. to like swing, but mm-hmm. then if I I can't dunk on the right side. Mm-hmm. With one foot for some reason. Yeah. So I go off two. I like will come around and go off two and go. Oh yeah, because the angle thing. is different. Yeah. So it's really weird. I go off. I go from the right, but it's always self lob, and then I have to. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. Turn I feel you, man. Way. Yeah, self lob. T- I feel like I'm better without lobs mm-hmm. for some reason. Without lobs. Yeah. Oh damn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I need. I need the lobs. I need to get the ball as close as I can there. It's and tough. Just, like, I've done. I like. I've dunked off lob a couple mm-hmm. times, but yeah, it sounds so tough because I couldn't dunk like. Dead ass, I could not. I yeah. was like, and I've always how been tall, close. like six two. Yeah, no, nah, six six one. If six that. one, I oh. say I'm six one. I'm not. I'm like six foot and three quarters. But ah, yeah, we'll take that. We'll yeah, yeah. So, um, but yeah, I couldn't dunk like fifty days ago, and then just work constantly. Uh-huh. Like I like stay back like fifteen, just try to keep fucking dunking. And then one went in, and then I had days when I made like five or six. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, it's tougher, man. Hey, mm-hmm. you can if you fucking work on it, you could. Yeah, you could I feel like I, I, it's definitely there because yeah. I've had my moments where it was like super close. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What I else? Just need to keep working. What else, so what else did you, what what else is next for the TikTok? What else what is next? Or the Shit. social or social media? Oh no, I just like I really just like having fun with it. Yeah. Like I, you know, I'll drop like a skit that I think is funny. You know, yeah, some yeah, people yeah. might think it's funny, some people might not. But I yeah. love all the skit stuff. So it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, like the skit's always funny. Yeah, my account's really just it's just me. Just you random. Know, I like my yeah. ball I like my basketball, I like you know, my skits, I like my dancing, I like mm-hmm. Yeah, and you know, you might see my car every now and yeah. then. Yeah. And you show me how to get sturdy. How you how to get sturdy? Yeah. I'm not the best at it. I just really like doing it. I just can't <laughs> do it. I, I guess I, I guess it's the genetics in me. The, the, the genetics. The white, no. the skin color in me. No, it's not about color, bro. You just really gotta watch and put. I'm watching it. And I just I, I've like I've said I've looked at like you know Kai Kai Snap. Uh huh. He's fucking. He's crazy. Uh huh. He's a funny dude. And I'm like I'm like okay I'm trying to wrap around my brain. And I'm like, I've tried to do it and just like, nah, what, what is this kid doing? <laughs> yeah, you just gotta start, you try something else. You know what I mean? Try to dougie first, you know, the yeah, yeah. shoulder movement, yeah. the arms. And then you can go all the way back to like 20, what was it, 2016? Yeah, yeah. them folks, everyone oh, yeah. was doing that. And then Millie Rocks, uh, you just gotta get in the rhythm. So I just don't, it, no, it just looks shit. Like, <laughs> I'm just, I don't know, man. Yeah, stand in front of a mirror and just go, oh, oh like that. <laughs> <laughs> So just then, it, like you just vibe with it. Hey, I respect that. <laughs> um, I love my dancing. I'm not. Mm-hmm. I'm not like a dancer, dancer. But I always think of this: if I ever had to get to let go, if I had the choice between not being able to dance or not being able to play ball, yeah, I could let go of playing basketball. Oh, really? But if I had to let go of dancing, that shit would be crazy. You go into like. You know, you listen to music and you start going like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> Say hello, mate. Uh huh. What about um, what like what's your ta- favorite type of like content you have like filmed? Favorite type of content? Yeah. Oh, I really I have fun making, I have fun making skits. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah, just like you know those random videos because it yeah it's mm. something that I see and then I'm like oh that's funny I can yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do something a little bit different to make it just as funny or even funnier. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's so, mad. Yeah. Like it's really fun making things that's out of the box because yeah I guess with my videos people know me as the kid who plays ball. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like you know I'll make a or even if it's still somewhat related. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like it's. It's not just a workout video every time because even that sometimes gets boring for me. Yeah, and I would I'm, imagine. It'd probably get boring for the people watching. Oh, there goes another. Oh, my. Same video. with the Project 50 thing, 50 yeah. fucking days, a concept of just posting uh-huh, the same like, shit. Oh, it's the same shit again. Yeah. I'm sick of it. Mm-hmm. I was so. Uh, the most annoying thing was filming food. Oh, yeah. It was the most annoying thing. Like, I'm just trying to eat and then I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, you, I don't feel feel like, my f- you feel like a bitch. Like, <laughs> I'm just like, oh, no, I, feel, I literally do. Like, I'm like, fucking, I'm like, oh. That looks really good, and I was eating super healthy. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I'm yeah. like, I'm like, oh, that salad looks really good. And I used to hate salads, and now like uh-huh. it's weird. I like like for them. real. Yeah, it's weird, bro. 
something about it, I'm taking I'm like oh shit I really ate that oh fuck I gotta take a photo first uh huh yeah you gotta like you've eaten some of it you gotta film yeah, the yeah. other side I know I'm like god damn I'm like fuck <laughs> man but it was everything and then like mm-hmm. but it was good though like it was good in the end yeah. but like just having to post for 50 straight mm-hmm. days I don't know if we're gonna do it again yeah no, and you did funny. 75 I did 75 and I did more because sometimes I'd post a dance video but that's yeah, yeah that's like yeah. easier to make because I, I you know I enjoy it because it's different yeah yeah uh, I feel you yeah, I, I like you. things when sometimes they're a little bit different yeah yeah, yeah. so my, my I have the most random TikTok I think of all time it's literally <laughs> the most weirdest shit on there yeah you have your 50 yeah and then you have your you have like clips from this yeah you have yeah there's I mean, basketball shit in there uh-huh. and then there's sometimes there's maybe there's like day in a life so it's just mm. really weird tiktok but yeah but. no i i like that though because it's yeah yeah you i don't like being in a box yeah i don't know for sure because i'm you know i'd like to do other things like yeah, you know, yeah like yeah. i said i with the with the basketball thing why it hasn't been consistent because i have other shit that yeah, I have yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah yeah for sure and it's the shit that i enjoy like yeah. I, you know ball cars shoes anime absolutely yeah yeah, hey. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah it's the same with you. You have your food, you know, you like to go out. Yeah. Exactly. Go out too much. Don't, don't bully me, guys. Go out too much. I think at the moment, like, like oh, this is still like the number one thing. Mm-hmm. Like, well, the number one thing, like, social media wise, that, like, I'm always like, yeah, gotta be on my shit. Uh-huh. But then I just, the editing, I just, because with uni especially, like, I'm having like yep. two assignments. I have like two assignments due on last Monday, and then I have another two due this week. Mm-hmm. I'm like, when am I, because I'm gonna need, like, Three, I'm gonna need six hours when my computer's not used. Yeah, that's right. And I'm like, like fuck, because I still gotta edit it and then get through the clips and shit, which I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna get at least one edited today. Uh huh. Yeah, that's what's up. But it's annoying though. It's mm-hmm. annoying though. And then ball, like, and then especially now, like, I'm trying to rile it up to be yeah. like, ready for like rep trials and yeah, shit. Yeah, that's right. You have your reps, so yeah, like, yeah. there's just a lot. It is, of man. Thing. It is. But hey, stay busy. Mm-hmm. I like to stay busy. Yeah, that's that's a good thing. You like to stay busy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But. Back on with basketball. Mm-hmm. Um, let's talk NBA. Let's talk a bit about NBA. NBA. I'm telling you now, I have like what do you have some the good? highest IQ, but the lowest knowledge of what the fuck is going on in okay. the league. Okay. 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 <laughs> what, what do you What do you know then? Uh huh. So tell me. Shit. No, give it. You gotta lead. You gotta lead. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I got you. Uh-huh. Um, All right, what's the? So what I wrote in the mm-hmm. oh, I sent over oh, questions. Yeah, you did. I was uh-huh. like your NBA hot takes. NBA hot takes. So there's uh-huh. this YouTube. There's this TikTok that I love. This guy. His name is Blank Boy. Thirty nine. I think I've. I think I've seen some of his videos. He's yeah. the funniest cunt. Uh huh. And I, I was like, bro, we gotta talk about mm-hmm. this. I think it'd be funny. So hot takes. Hot takes. So give me. Give me something. I feel like actually I don't know if this is a hot take, but we need to separate, like their NBA players like as ball players and their outside of life stuff because like yeah. Kyrie is uh. too cold to be getting cancelled or hating on oh yeah like I understand like the Nike deal fair enough mm-hmm. but like the, the, the dudes I really think this is gonna happen like I have a good feeling I reckon, they're gonna, I reckon he's not gonna be playing another game for the yeah. Brooklyn Nets mm-hmm. I, after yeah, his I five games he will, he'll either play a couple games and then he'll be traded or he'll want out yeah but like it's just annoying at this point like mm-hmm. unless you're like unless it's like seriously like that bad like for example yeah. like miles bridges that dude should never play yeah. the league again uh-huh. <laughs> i hope he doesn't but now he's he's not even going to jail oh he, for real he can literally play basketball in i think it's like two weeks yeah if he wants to do because he, he's just got a two to three year pro- probation mm-hmm. yeah I've, I've only heard that he's like in trouble but i don't know yeah. exactly what happened but yeah like yeah oh, like, guys, he, like, like hit his, he hit his wife oh that's insane that's pretty yeah. bad. Yeah. yeah. It should be in jail for 10 years, but because he gets the body celebrity treatment. Yeah, that's right. But yeah, like they do have an influence, but it's like, are they like, I mean, I guess, yeah, LeBron, he's, you know, building schools. You want to be like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. That cool guy who has no problems and, you know, he'll help the community out. But like, that's Kyrie, bro. Like he's a, he's a ball player and then he has his beliefs, but you don't need it being like post inter post game interviews like going at him for exactly just like, talk about his performance i get it it's going to continue to happen uh-huh. but like at the end of the day they should just let it i get it he should have suspended for five games and uh-huh. stuff like it makes sense but like because he shouldn't he really shouldn't have said what he said because it's like really fucking i don't even know what he said oh he was talking <laughs> he's also he's a kind of s also doesn't like jews either it seems like it oh damn he, he was what was we're just like fair enough but like at the end of the day like it's cancel him off cancel him off instagram mm-hmm 
But they ain't guessing. Yeah, like take him off social media, cool. But that shouldn't affect him playing ball. Yeah, or like take away his, because uh, he's paid to play basketball. Mm-hmm. But because they want the whole image and stuff, yeah, like right. I get yeah, you had they had to do it mm-hmm. more or less. But yeah, but it sucks. Like mm-hmm. he's too fucking cold. He to is. Not play. He's tough. But yeah. Brooklyn fucking suck. Yeah, I heard. I haven't watched. I haven't been watching. That's why I'm saying I have like okay. I have the lowest knowledge of what the fuck is going. Okay. on. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you stuff. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, what right. your thoughts on it? Okay, see what, uh, what else could be a hot take? Uh, I have a good one. Uh-huh, give well, it to me. Russell Westbrook is going to win the sixth man of the year. Sixth man of the year. Is he on the bench? Yeah, they've Dang benched him. And they've won, he's, bro, he's averaging like 18, 8, and... He's averaging like 28 and 8 off the bench. Dang. He's like killing it, bro. They won They won two straight games in yeah. a row. And then um, they lost They lost yesterday. Yeah. I get to Utah. I don't know. Utah's the worst team in the league, but... Uh-huh. They they won like six games, out of like eight. All right. Oh, Utah's won six yes, games. Yes, they have eight. fucking nobody. Damn. Don't they have uh, Mitchell? No. Oh, so you that bad? Where's I mean, he at? Cleveland. What? The, what? Since they, when? Bro, right, the off season. Ah, oh, damn. Are you that bad? Uh-huh, yeah, damn. Yeah. Okay. Who? Um. Yeah. And Rudy damn. Gobert plays in Minnesota. Oh. Oh, that's a uh, that's Dante Exum. Yeah. Senior. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they look the same. They do actually. <laughs> Where's he? He's, Wait, in, he's in Barcelona, I think. Oh, he's not even in the league. Mm. Oh, that's crazy. I think he's in the league. Yeah. That's bad. I come. You didn't know about the Donovan yeah, Mitchell thing. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's right. Bro. That's a little behind, but yeah, that's Russell right. Westbrook, six man. Yeah, I can rock with that. Well, it's because they just he, him him and Pat Bev can't play. Uh huh. Oh, they, the same oh so is Pat. Oh, Pat Bev's in the Lakers yeah, too. Yeah. Damn. They got yeah, some like. They just have no shooting. Mm-hmm. They're like the worst shooting. They're the yeah. worst shooting team to start in the last like ten years or some shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, if he's averaging eighteen off the bench. Yeah, bro, he's been. He's played three games off the bench. He's probably I mean, four. No, three. He's probably been the best player. No, four. Sorry, he's probably yeah, been right. the best. One of the best players. LeBron yeah. can't make a three to save his life. LeBron, damn. Shooting like twenty percent from three. Oh, that's bad. But he's still getting like, cause like the dude, you hit like a couple. Like he shot like thirty, like seven percent last year. Does or some he still shit. do the? Uh, oh yeah, the fucking same move every time. <laughs> But hey, Isn't it's up. It's they, locked, they locked in now. But no, you know, it's, it's not even. They've all been open and just Jesus fucking missing. Damn. The uh, Lakers are fucking something else. Hey, no, I'm telling you now. Hot say This is like legit hot Tell me. Westbrook is 18 off the bench. He's going to carry the team off the bench. Oh, yeah, for sure. He, he's going to be different. He's going to be MVP off the bench. Oh, yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. He'll, he'll win. Is that a thing? Six man of the year. No, no. Oh, MVP, actual MVP. Like MVP off the bench. Nah, bro. That hasn't happened? Nah, I don't think so. Nah, it definitely well, hasn't. He was the first... No, he wasn't the first to average a triple double. Second guy. Dang. Well, he was the first to do it multiple times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he will be the How first... How many times did he do it? Four, I think he did it four times. Four times? I'm pretty sure. That's he did insane. it. He did it... I, th- I want to say he did it in three years at Oklahoma City. I want to say. Dang. And then he got traded to Houston. That's when he averaged like... 30 a game or some shit. Yeah, there's no way. But first... And then he did in Washington yeah. as well. And now oh, he's fallen off. That's too many times. No, he hasn't fallen off. He's just... He's, I, I think he just needed to come off the bench. Yeah, I think he just needed to come off the bench. All right. MVP off the bench. Russell yeah. Westbrook. Oh, so I was going to say, do you have an MVP, do you have a early runoff MVP? But if you... Russell Westbrook. <laughs> I can imagine. I'd give you $1,000 if you want MVP. <laughs> That's how it's so unlike I'm it not is. betting on it, bro. I don't have money. Who else? <laughs> Bucks are good this year. They haven't lost a game Bucks. yet. Damn, the only team that, the only team that has, there's only been like eight games, but like... Oh, still, eight yeah, games Yeah, yeah, it's tough. Yeah. It's tough. Mm-hmm. And then Chris Middleton, Middleton hasn't even played a game yet. Damn, all right. I don't even know who that is. Chris Wait. Middleton. Who the fuck is that? You know who Chris Middleton is? Oh, is he the... the he's number, the one who like number shoots the range Yeah, he's a good shooter. Yeah, yeah, yeah on box. He's ugly as fuck. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, you know, I'm not... I'm ugly too, but we're not in the same team. He's like... <laughs> Yeah, I like, only remember. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, that dude. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. It's, NBA is like, like at its best. Mm-hmm. It's so many, like, yeah, it's. I'm missing out. Yeah, it's actually you should watch it. All right, bro. I'll, I'll there's probably get like to it. There's honestly like a 10, 11 teams in each conference that could make the playoffs. 10, 11 teams. That could. Yeah. They're like that good. Like the East is like good again. It's ridiculous. Uh-huh. So there's literally like six teams that won't. Damn, that's crazy. Cause there's yeah. so many fucking good teams. Like Atlanta, for example, now has the Trey Young and they got Deontay Murray in yeah. the same backcourt. Oh, that's hard. And they probably will finish like ninth. Yeah. The John St. Murray is like the 360 guy from Denver, right? No. Nah. So, that's that? Jamal Murray. Oh, Jamal. <laughs> Jamal Murray played for, the, um, he played for the Spurs. Yeah. 
Oh shit. Whoops. <laughs> That's alright. And Warriors are playing like shit. Warriors? Yeah, them? they're under 500. Didn't they win? Yeah, they won. Last year, yeah. yeah. Hey. <laughs> Jordan Poole's going off. Yeah. He got the bag as well. Mm -hmm. Made, he got one, he got some crazy shit. Like, I want to say like yeah. two, like one, like 50, for like four years. Damn, all right. That's crazy. That's too much money. Yeah, you're, bro, you're missing, you're missing out. You gotta watch oh. it. Like, it's really fucking good. Like, I saw, I've seen, I've seen like oh, pretty much all the Lakers games. It has the feet. How's the Suns going? Yeah, good. They just had. I know they lost out of Adelaide, but like they've only, they've probably been one of the best teams in the league. All right. Chris Paul can't score the ball anymore. Yeah, no, he's averaging no. like eight points per game, but he's averaging like twelve assists. Yeah, no. Chris Paul's like he he started getting too thick, and then his shorts got too tight, and ever since then he's oh, had mate. the same jump shot. The, the, the book, the book, bro. He's nice. going all. He's uh -huh. he's like fifth in the league in scoring. Dang. He's so like twenty eight, twenty nine. I might have to change my MVP I'm, pick then. I'm telling you, no, I got, I got Luca. Luca's been. You got Luca? I hate that guy. Right, really? He's, uh -huh. my, he's my second favorite player. I don't even, I don't watch any of the games. Right, he's but so good. He, he's like me. He's got no athleticism uh -huh. and <laughs> he's completely skilled. So I'm he's like, just, uh, yeah, all skill. Not yeah. just. He's just. I don't know. I don't like him. He's a good player. He's like, yeah. he's fucking. He's averaging like 38 a game. Yeah, I understand why. Yeah, he is a good player, but I just can't fuck with him. Yeah, fair enough. He's just. Cooking everyone. He is. Are they comparing him to LeBron? That's when I was like, nah, no. No, no, sure no. He plays. I'm trying to think. He, he plays, plays different. Bro, he's not playing anybody. Mm -hmm. He's just he's his own game. Yeah. He's stupid slow step back, but then he's so good in the paint. It's uh -huh. ridiculous. Yeah, he he looks like he, he can fair. He looks fairly strong. Yeah, like it would he, be. Yeah. He's big, big mm -hmm. motherfucker. Yeah. How tall is he? Like six, eight. Yeah, yeah, and plays the one. Damn. Yeah. Right. Some no, he's a good player. So LeBron shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> no. LeBron, they should have put. I saw this thing. Should, LeBron at point guard. LeBron at point guard. But they have no fucking bigs in LA. Yeah. Do they have? Do they have Dwight, Dwight Howard. No. Nah. Damn. He's not on the team. They got rid of Superman. They should have kept him because they don't have a because Davis is playing center. I think Davis is a bad center. No, they need Dwight. They just need a fucking center. Anybody? They because they got LeBron playing full. They got. Oh. Troy Brown, no, oh, what's his face? Oh, no, they changed the lineup. So they got Peverly, Troy Brown, you probably don't know who that is. And then they got um, fucking, oh, what's Troy his name? Brown? Um, the, Lonnie, was... Lockie, Lonnie Walker. Do you know who that is? Uh, no, no, no clue. You said Troy Brown? I was thinking um, high school music. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, nah. Ain't no way. <laughs> yeah, he just he turned black in six uh, foot eight, yeah. Yeah he's, yeah, he's in the league now. Yeah, yeah man, Zach he's Afron tough. He's going crazy. He's tough, man. <laughs> um, what about um? So you missing out, man. You're missing out. I'm missing out. Yeah. I need. I need to get into it. But yeah, you do. So MVP, D book, and then okay, if D not, second place is Russell Westbrook, Westbrook. off the bench. Okay. It has okay. to be off the bench if he's in the starting lineup. I don't think they'll put him back because like yeah. the the like he's like he's got a new coach. He's actually a good. He's like pretty good. Oh, what's his name? Darvin Ham. Oh, shit, I don't know. I don't he even know to, the coach's name. He used to coach in um. I want to say Boston or San Antonio. Oh, okay. He coached somewhere. Yeah. He played. He's San like, Antonio. Yeah, uh, he what was assistant. To, to no assistant. He was like an assistant. Oh, okay. he, no, he was yeah. he's, he's, he's his first ever head coaching job. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, you're missing out. Fuck. Okay. Dang. All right. My um. Yeah, MVP, I got Luca or Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum. Oh, he's yeah. Right, he's Jason cooking. Tatum's cold. Or yeah. Donovan Mitchell maybe. Donovan Mitchell's averaging like 32 as well. He's in Cleveland, isn't he? Yeah, averaging 32. Unless you're LeBron, you're not doing shit in Cleveland. Oh, bro, he's averaging 32, and they're like. They're a top three team in the East. Anyways, we'll talk, let's talk. Let's talk music. Music. Yep. Let's talk music. Let's see what, what you've been up to first. What's your music taste like? So oh you, mate. You said earlier you love Kanye. I love. Oh, I love Kanye. Older Kanye. I don't know about this newer one, but Donda was shit. I liked Kanye. Up I didn't even listen to that. Yeah, though. don't. I I liked him up until he had this album called Yay, and Jesus, the Jesus album actually wasn't that bad. Jesus album. I listened to that a couple of times. It's so I not, don't remember much. It's yeah. It's not that bad. It's not good, but it's just like. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's but okay. he had the one. It was the one before that. He, it had like eight. Life of Pablo. No, no. It was yeah. He released like this small one. It was called oh, Yay. It had yeah. like eight songs. That one was fine. I was. I didn't mind that, but since yeah. then it's just. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. I, I got. Let me go. I feel like that's let me when my he phone. started to really, like, lose his shit. Like when he dropped Yay. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he was like. Going at people in that song. Yeah, he was. I mean, in that song, in that album. Yeah, yeah, he did for sure. But he just, like, I don't know. It was good. Like, I, I like the way. There was a couple like good songs with like Donda. I can name 
The only song I like off it is um, the song with Pop Smoke. The oh, song with Pop. That was in his album too. Yeah, yeah. and his version's better because mm-hmm. he Kanye cut off half of the half of his half of the verses in it. Yeah. Okay, this is made the moment. Let's see. Oh, the new Drake album that just came out. Didn't oh, mind I that. I haven't heard it yet. Not bad. Some people don't like it. It wasn't bad. Oh, I've been into the British stuff at the moment. Oh, for real? I like just can't. AJ get into Tracy, it. Yeah. Central C. I saw them live. I was like, ah, oh, listen oh, out. For real? Yeah, yeah. So they were cool. Yeah. I'm seeing Kendrick actually soon. Oh, you're going? Yeah, yeah. Damn, I wanted to go, but. Yeah. Trying to get tickets. Yeah. Trying to think of else. When is it? Uh, 8th and 9th of December. Oh, okay. So I'm going on the 9th. Yeah. Because fuck going on a concert on Thursday night. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. Uh, Kendrick would go hard. Oh, but it's going to be mental. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to be drunk as well because we have a work conference. We have a buddy work party. Oh, the day before? Or? The same day. Oh, same day. Damn. Like hours before. <laughs> Get no sleep. Too Mate. No sleep. Mate. Baby came. He's Baby going came. with... He's like been going... Him. He's going with Kendrick. Uh-huh. He's the opening act. Damn. Yeah. I fuck with Baby came. Yeah, he's Baby cool. Came. I'm trying to think of who else. Gunner, Cuddy. Oh, fucking Gunner's also in jail. But Gunner? Qua- oh, Quaver... Oh. Listen to Takeoff. Everyone's been on Takeoff since he passed away. I don't know. That's what everybody does, though. Like, I'm not going to lie. I didn't know a single Pop Smoke song before he died. Oh, and okay, now he, same here. But now he's like literally one of my favorite mm-hmm. artists. No, I, um, was, I fucked with Takeoff 21. more than Offset before. Oh, yeah. What's, yeah. What's your favorite album this year as well? This year? Oh, that's a problem. I haven't been listening this year. I've just been Did hearing last, songs. Last couple of years then. Give me like... Dang. Last couple times. years? Yeah. I can't even remember what came out. I like the Jack Harlow album. Yeah, that was you right. I don't mind that. I don't mind Jack Harlow. Yeah, I like Jack. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah. I had his I shit live. I had his really bad live. Oh, for real? Yeah. Do you see him? No, nah, I have a couple oh. friends who have seen him and they're just like, nah, he's just not it. Yeah. He lo- like, yeah. I oh, don't know. Like, I like the vibe of his music. Mm. Like, yeah. I know he released good stuff. Like, I like ch- um, Churchill. Was it Churchill? Churchill Jeff? Downs. It's like one of the my favorite songs. Oh, yeah. it's such a banger. It's a good song. I'm trying to think what else. Um, what else dropped last couple of years? Yeah, actually, last I mean, year I, all I can think of is like the CLB and the mid. Donda. I didn't listen to those. Both mid. Oh, I listened to CLB. That's Donda it. was uh, I listened to like two songs. It just, it just was mid. Like it just was super mid. I like the Kendrick album actually that came out this year. Oh yes, Kendrick yeah. album is good. And then I wouldn't call it my favorite, but it, I like it. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Um, I'm trying to think what else was fucking good. Yeah, oh. Lil Durk's album's alright. Oh, I don't really listen to him too much. Really? Mm-hmm. All right, Durk. No, think. The thing with me is, like, when I was younger, I used to be uh, all of the, like, hip-hop, like, drill, yeah, Chicago yeah. drill. Yeah, I listened to everything. But now, yeah. this is going to sound so bad, but my whole playlist is basically just, like, simp music. Really? Yeah. Like what? Like, The Weeknd, Tory yeah. Lanez, Don Tolliver. Yeah, yeah, Don Tolliver's cool, though. Um... Summer Walker, like it's just like, I'm in like a simp phase. I may or may not be simping for someone. Uh, uh, this guy's a simp. Yeah, he's crazy, bro. No, I need to chill out. I need to get back into some, some uh, King Von and oh uh, my god, King Von and the family. Just fucking start, just yeah, just be hella disrespectful. I uh, just start fucking walking your chest uh, out, really, <laughs> and your arms fucking to the side. Yeah, go back into Young Boy. No, Young Boy. I, I never like, got into Young Boy. I never did. I, I did never. at one point, but. It wasn't. It was. It didn't last long. I reckon it was a six nine, mate. I reckon that six nine. So shit. His no. You go. You can't pretend like twenty seventeen. Some wasn't of it was good. To, like um, there's a couple of good days and something. He's just such a dickhead. Yeah. Now I don't know. I won't listen to him now. But twenty seventeen six yeah. nine. I would go back and listen to. Oh, I saw Trippy Red this year as well. He was at the festival. Trippy Red is also in one of my simp songs. Yeah. Like, he's but he's uh, fucking. He was really good live. Mm-hmm. Really good. I feel like he would have that energy. Like, yeah. if they have like face piercings, like not their ears, just like on their face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like they'd be good live. Like X, X would be good live. Oh, X would be X R. is R. just. To X. Yeah, uh, he died like what four years ago now. I want to say. I think I was still in high school. Yeah, I, yeah, well, I, I, yeah, yeah. You would have been. I think because I'm pretty sure it was 2018. Yeah, 18 or like 17. Yeah, was it that yeah. fucking hell. Mm-hmm. Now since then, Jesus Christ, every fucking rapper's dying. Yeah. It's actually fucked. Mac That's Miller, mm-hmm. Pop, what? Yeah, what he ta- obviously take off. Yeah, DMX passed away. DMX. Yeah. Um. Oh, mate. Who? Well, what's his face? Oh, my, Pam Baby Rock just died. Oh yeah. Fucking. Oh my god. Um, Nipsey died. Nipsey. Yeah. 
Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah people will be passing away. Even um, what was it? Coolio. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I, I mean, I was I wasn't really into his music, Same. but still, like Gangster's Paradise is like an influential rap song. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But like, right, everyone's fucking dying, man. Yeah, but yeah, my music taste is just simp music. So you're into you're into UK drill. That's but at the moment, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, UK Drill is probably my favorite at the moment. They have, I swear, bro, they have the same flow. Like, every single one has the same flow. It's just the... Yeah, no, you're true. But, like, the two guys I like... The, the, like, I'm, the, I like Stormzy, Central C, and AJ Tracy. That's who I'm, like, been listening the most. AJ Tracy has a nice flow. They're more, like, chill. But Semi Central C is, like, more, like, chill, mm-hmm. chill vibe. You would have heard, you would have heard like, Dojo. Yeah. It's yeah, not every that. song is like that. But, like, yeah. it's, like, it's more, like, vibey like that. Same okay. as Stormzy doesn't even like list, make doesn't go. I've listened go- to Stormzy's a couple of his albums. Stormzy's tough. I but like he doesn't Stormzy. even do drill. He still does. He's still yeah. like a drill artist, but he doesn't go as hard as like. Yeah, example, like Shut Up, for example. When uh-huh. it's like, I don't know how to because apparently there there's like grime. I don't know if yeah what, what the difference is. Do you grime? I think grime's just all of rap. I feel like it. Oh okay, so yeah, fair, uh, because he has like he actually has nice flow. He's like yeah, I love his music. But I'm not getting. I obviously have listened to some of the hard stuff, but like yeah. I'm more like the chill vibe. Do you ever listen to the Australian music? Oh, I hate it. I think it's horrible. <laughs> they have one one full song because Kid Leroy's on it. My city. Oh yeah. That yeah. was sick. I saw that live because they. I that he's Australian. Yeah. Because I, I saw him, mm-hmm. and then one they brought one four out, and I, I caught yeah. it. I was like, they need to come out and bring out My City because that's probably one of my favorite Kid Leroy songs. Uh huh. But yeah. then, like, I just can't sound Australian rap. I like Kid Leroy. Like, yeah, Kid Leroy, but he's not, he, the dude sounds American. Mm-hmm. But, like, yeah. we're talking actually like Australian rap, like, fucking 1 4 or. Uh, um, oh my God, I can't even name like, him. Yeah, I can't name him either. Because uh, some of the kids that I work with, like, they. Are you serious? They listen to him. Yeah, because. What the fuck? Yeah. I'm like, oh. It's right. so horrible. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, there's a guy who. There was this other guy that everybody fucking went on about. Um. Oh, I can't even the names, but it just it, it just shit. Yeah, I I'm, I don't really mess with them like that. They're not. They're obviously like good for the people, but like for me personally, like yeah, I, no I don't, shade. Like, listen to whatever. I'm you know. I don't fuck with it unless you listen like some emo shit. That no, I, I low key fuck with the emo shit. Really? Yeah. No, I've been. Li- oh, another thing. I've been listening to like two thousands punk rock, like two th- early really? 2010s. Yeah, I've been going back to like Paramore and Green Day. Jesus. And- <laughs> so I'm just telling. I'm just such. I'm just. I, I, I literally listen to just. Whatever's coming out at the yeah. moment. Yeah, because I'm trying. I was trying to expand my horizons. Yeah, like I've yeah. always been to hip hop, R and B, like yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what we grew up with. Yeah, yeah for sure. So yeah. Mm, interesting. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to. Um, my dad was into rock, like metal, uh, like metal. Yeah, as yeah, well. yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, my dad wasn't. So I, that was all my childhood was just like, uh, my da- my dad like well, let me say like you two. Um, oh yeah. Queen, all mm-hmm. that shit. Yeah, same with my dad. So the only music I listen to that isn't rap. Is the Beatles? Oh. Fuck with the Beatles, heavy. I I didn't really listen to the Beatles. Oh, they're my, my boys. Uh-huh. They're so sick. They make good songs. Like Such there were a song. few songs. I legit when I was in London, I went to like the beat. I like walked across Abbey Road and shit. Oh, yeah. yeah, I had to because I love them. <laughs> you gotta take the picture, bro. I did, man. I oh, did. you did? Yeah, yeah, of oh, course, yeah. bro. Uh, of course, mate. <laughs> Whole family. No, no, I was just because I was just on my, I was by myself. I was oh, gonna go right. my car. I was gonna go with someone else, and they mm-hmm. pulled out last minute. Oh, oh okay. So yeah. Yeah. That was different. Mm. Solo travel. It's, but That's so good. Yeah, I want to try though. that. You should. Loki kind of scary though if it you is. don't speak English. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you have to go to English speaking mm. country. Yeah, 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 by yourself. Like I want to go to Japan. Oh yeah, that'd be dope. Mm-hmm. I would love to go to Japan at some point. Yeah. I have a bunch of friends that want to go. And I'm just like, yeah, not English speaking would like trigger uh-huh. me because I was in like Italy and Greece where they sell like majority. Most people speak English, speak, but yeah. but you run it like we had a couple of taxi drivers and Uber drivers who didn't. Mm-hmm. Oh no, they didn't even have Uber over there. Had a oh, bunch, for real? Yeah, had a, we had a yeah, fair amount of taxi drivers that could not speak English. I went to South America. They had Uber. Yeah. Yeah, like in Panama. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't know why the fuck they don't have it in... Because they have literally in London. They just didn't have it in Greece, Italy. Oh, okay. It might it's just weird. be like a culture thing. That's like weird. Because we were in like literally capital city. Mate, Rome, I assume would have. I know, but we... Taxis are just so much cheaper. Mm-hmm. No, I, no, they didn't. I feel like they didn't even have Uber. Dang. It's weird, man. But, yeah. Hey. This is um this is the ten. So these are ten questions mm-hmm. that or, or the nine because of. Anyway, so these are questions that you're gonna answer. Them, okay. Hit me, hit me. These can be as long as you want. You can make one worded, or you can make it as long as you want. So first one is tell us about your most recent social media post. 
my most recent social media post. Yes. Damn, hold on. I can't even remember. Yeah. I've been so inconsistent. Let me double check. Yeah, yeah, you have a look. You're good. Recent social media post is what? I mean, if I take a picture of this, it's going to be this. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh, I... Oh, I posted a video of me and another friend playing ball. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's just a regular workout video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, I don't, with my videos, I don't actually film the entire thing. Yeah, I yeah, I just yeah. film, like, mostly some new things or something that I'm changing from other times. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I feel you. It was just a, yeah, regular video. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's crazy, too, is I got, like, some kids commenting, and, yeah, I'm just like, ah, I don't know about this, like, oh. What do I do about this? Well, like kids wait from school. Yeah. Oh my god, I've seen some into that actually. Yeah. I had um so I worked this job in the school holidays where we mm-hmm. teach kids how to make like YouTube videos, coding oh, okay. and that type of stuff. Yeah, they found you. They um yeah, they found me. Mm-hmm. They, one of them found my Instagram. Yeah. So I was like to them, you're never gonna guess my YouTube channel because it's not my name. Mm-hmm. And they all like asked what my name was and I go like, It's Sam Sam Fraser. Uh-huh. And they go, What on my Instagram? Oh, the one on in Instagram click. found me uh-huh. and then obviously I'm private but you can still see the links in the mm-hmm. bio so they went and clicked on the link and they found it oh damn I guess that's the same with me they find out like cause in yeah in this school they called me by, by my last name mm-hmm. they found, my, found out my first name mm-hmm. and then boom type it in dang I guess it's really not that hard to find people but it isn't it's actually fucking weird mm-hmm like, think about it, you just got like little kids who don't even know shit about me. Yeah. Literally search my name on Instagram, which I'm obviously going to like be one of the first people to pop up mm-hmm. on their, any of their Instagrams, I would sure imagine. There, yeah, I don't know about how many Patrick Ibarras there are, but, but yeah, Sam exactly. Fraser, there should be a few. Yeah, it definitely is. Mm-hmm. But then, like, but then you're now, I feel like people couldn't, because you're, what, is it still XX29, yeah. Patrick Ibarra29? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like, it's not like mine's literally just Sam underscore Fraser underscore. Yeah. Yeah, like they, people would have to like actually try a little bit to find mine. Exactly. Yeah, because mine says I think mine says Pat, so not yes. even Patrick. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I try. I tried to hide it, I guess. Mm, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, kids are too good, bro. They are. All right. Who's your um biggest inspiration? Biggest inspiration? Oh, that is very very tough, because like there's really a lot. Mm, Sam. Mm-hmm. But definitely my like my parents are right at the top. Yeah, for sure. I can come, probably come up with like a top 10. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Do like a top three then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my parents are right there. Yeah. And then, you know, I also like, I watch a lot of anime. So, you know, the kind of the stories that they tell like in Naruto or yeah, Dragon yeah, yeah. Ball, like shit like that. Like those characters have some soul. Like people will say, oh, it's a cartoon. So yeah, yeah. it doesn't mean anything. And mm-hmm. all. Well, firstly, it's an anime. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, they also actually have like really good storytelling. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. for sure. Like the stories in there is good. It's just like reading a book, but watching it. Yeah, yeah. That's bad. So, yeah. Um, Kick Genius, we spoke about them earlier. So yeah. They're a pretty big part of my life. They're great. Like, I'm sorry, it's annoying. They bloody yeah. uh-huh. fell off. Because, like, yeah, I was, like, I, I found out about them. I was trying to buy some LeBrons. And yeah, I was yeah. just like, let me look for a review. And yeah, yeah. So, I wouldn't, I, back then, I wouldn't buy shoes unless they gave it a good grade uh-huh. back in the day. Yeah, a little bit. Like, I wouldn't <laughs> buy shoes in general, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have money. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Kick Genius is up there. Yeah, they're cool, man. Who else? Um, yeah, I, I, we'll keep it at that. Yeah, that's I can't think easy. of anyone else. But yeah. Um, next one is uh, your fir- your, give me your, your first celebrity crush. First celebrity crush? Yeah, man. Shit. <coughs> How Pardon. far are we going back, though? Like, I, I can... Just give me a couple that's off, uh, off the head, then. Oh, when I was a kid, I used to really like... um. Sam from iCarly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Didn't she date an NBA player? Andre Drummond. Yeah, yeah, I always just think of, yeah, Andre Drummond. She's Sam going through it, poor girl. She's like, mm-hmm. if, like, oh. Yeah, apparently she, like, really had a tough time. Yeah, her mom's, like, an asshole. Yeah. But, yeah, I, when I was, like, I don't know, nine? I yeah, was really iCarly was my shit back in the day. iCarly, yeah. Victorious. Mm-hmm, Victorious. Oh, Jade from Victorious. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Dude, she was yeah. bad. Drake and Josh. Drake and Josh, yeah, um, that was a good show. Mm-hmm. Which I think we're all, they were like the main three I remember watching. Yeah. Uh, but no, nah, Jade from Victorious. Oh, yeah, she's, she's still. Oh, she's there. still hot as well. I yeah, saw her in. Right a, now. I saw her. In, um, what I, I saw her in something. She, I think she has a show because yeah. I remember my parents watching Dynasty. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what. Yeah, it's like the company. Yeah, show, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't watch it, but I was like, oh dang. Yeah, yeah. She's hey. still kind of black. She's still kind of bad. <laughs> yeah. What about um? What's your favorite activity to do? That 
obviously, uh, give me a couple things that we haven't talked about. So you know, obviously uh, you got basketball. Yeah. You got the love of dance. Is there anything mm-hmm. else? I do like dancing. Oh, yeah. uh, I guess recently, I, it's been more, a bit more recent. I've been working on my car like yeah, quite a bit. Yeah. So yeah, I guess that's something like I do enjoy, it, but I fucking hate that shit sometimes. Too. Yeah. Because one, it's expensive, and then like when you don't have the shit that you need, like the tools. You gotta go up and buy, like, put everything back together. Like, if yeah. I don't have, if I don't have another car, I gotta put everything back together. Go to a super cheap auto, buy it, come back, take everything apart again. Yeah, so it's too so much yeah. for me, bro. Mm-hmm. Couldn't do it. Um, but yeah, what's your favorite know, place? A little weird one. I like folding clothes. Do you? Yeah, I hate it. For real? I hate putting clothes away. Damn. You know, because you just like listen to listen to a podcast, listen to like I a do video like, essay, yeah, podcasts and then just fold clothes. Yeah, yeah. I, we should start working in a body clothing store or something, uh, clearly. Yeah, no, I, I also like cleaning. No, I, I, really? yeah, I like clean, I like vacuuming the house. And <laughs> when I'm trying to avoid doing my assignments, I, sound, I probably sound so weird, bro. No, nah, you're right. <laughs> you're right, yeah. man. Like, uh, I'll, this was like maybe two weeks ago. I had yeah. two assignments due the same day. Yeah, yep, like, I had, had that as well. Uh, let's say it was, I think it was like a Wednesday, let's say, and then yeah. it was Friday. I haven't started both of them. Yeah. I was trying to avoid them. I started cleaning the garage. I started vacuuming the house. Yeah, <laughs> that's the reason to get it, mate. I'll just my my bad if I don't if I put myself on assignment. Mm-hmm. I'll just watch TikTok. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah I'll scroll through. I'm like, I'm like, shit. It's been a fucking hour, and I've just yeah. been scrolling through TikTok. What the I, fuck am I doing? I just rack up hours on TikTok. Bro, as well. I'm so bad. Mm-hmm. Um, favorite place you ever travel to? I think. Oh yeah, I said it earlier. Japan. You did. I want to go to Japan. Well, you've ever. Oh, I've to. ever yeah. traveled to. Oh, Philippines. I need to go back home. Yeah. Yeah. That, everyone, my whole family's there. Yeah, yeah. Most of my family's there. I think my parents were planning to go back in, I think, July next oh, year. Oh, yeah. So, fairly is, soon. Is it, what, is it hot in the... In where, that time, yeah. Is it hot then? So, okay. Mm-hmm. So, it's like Europe and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. um, the, we're in the equator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It's, it's hot all the time. Yeah, it's hot all the time, yeah. <laughs> um, next one. What are some goals you have for the next year or two? What was that? Goals for the Goals. next year or two. Oh, um, dunk journey? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to dunk, but yeah, I'm just trying to, I want a more stable job mm-hmm. that I can, I'm still like fairly free. So, I yeah. mean, right now I work after school care. I've also been working at Woolworths. Yeah. So right, that, yeah nonstop. Oh, bro, and that's, I'm so weird. Like, I really enjoy stacking those shelves. No, really? Oh. <laughs> but yeah. Like, uh, yeah, I, I want to find a more stable job that pays better. Cause Let's get your I teaching just, job. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like I wanna, I'm thinking of doing casual teaching. Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah, I want to, yeah, I just want to be able to do more things. Because the thing that's, I feel like it's holding me back is the money. Yeah. Because things are expensive. Like, yeah, and man, I have man. expensive hobbies, like the cars, yeah. the shoes, the like even playing ball. Like, yeah, yeah. Seven dollars each time I go in. So why you just do that, mate? That's why AOS. That's mm-hmm. why they, the AOSA thing yeah. is so worth it because I pay what thirty dollars a week. Mm-hmm. Man, I wish they had one closer to. Because I, I used to go to KGV. That was mm-hmm. like my spot. I'd go every day. Oh, I used to just. You can imagine you're paying five bucks every time plus parking because I drive everywhere. Oh, okay. Yeah, I would catch a train. Yeah. yeah so I would be paying every twenty dollars every time. I mm-hmm. would go. So I'm like, found AOSA. I'm like, well, okay, I don't have to pay. I pay what? I'm there. Or, let's say I'm honestly there. I've been, let me see how many, how many games I've been there this week. I've been there four times this week. Oh, that's good. And then I'm yeah. going today. So if it'll be five times. Yeah, because if you calculate it, like you divide, yeah, you divide 30 by it's five. Like, yeah. it, it's worth it. Mm-hmm. I'm paying $6 every time. Yeah. And then I don't have to worry about parking. I don't have to worry mm-hmm. about not getting in or not getting a game in because mm-hmm. I, yeah, every time. There's people there. There's always people. It's never, even, no, it's, the only time I've seen it dead empty was, well, I've done a couple of times. I'll go there like at 2 a.m. in the morning. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, ain't no, you fighting serious demons if you're in the gym at 2 a.m. Really? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it would be fair. I've had a lot of moments. Like, I've had a couple of times, yeah. But I, I like it. It's like, I don't know. It's kind it of is thera- a vibe, though. It's therapeutical, almost. Mm-hmm. It, but then again, yeah, it's like, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, like, no, dude, I'm sleeping. I like my sleep. Bro, I'll be getting, a, yeah, I'll definitely get a late night session, I reckon, sometime mm-hmm. this week. I'm feeling one. That's what's up. That's yeah, what's but up. anyways, um, what about where you see yourself in five years? Five years? Yeah, man. I don't know exactly, but I really, I just want to be happy. Like, yeah, okay. I feel like, I, I feel it. like in five years I'd be doing something that I've figured out what I want. I want to be. Like, yeah, okay. By well, that point, yeah, so good. like it's either I'm there or I'm leading into it. Okay. Because yeah, even at this current stage, like the 
one of the main reasons why I want to do casual teaching is I'm not a hundred percent sure still if I want to really be want to be a teacher. Really? Because yeah, like this year I've realized how much fucking work we have to do. Yeah. So, yeah. But and also like I enjoyed it because you know working with kids and you help them develop and there's like some form of creativity into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sometimes it beca- it becomes repetitive, and yeah, I don't re- I don't really like how. I just don't like it, and sometimes. So I couldn't be a primary school teacher. Yeah. I'd have to be a high school one. Yeah, you'd have to. You have to be patient. For, yeah. But yeah, in high school you have different classes. That's, every time. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you get to try out different things. Like, oh, maybe in your year seven class this works. Your mm-hmm. year eight class it works. Better. Exactly. Yeah, for a primary you have one one group of kids. Mm, that's the entire it. year. Exactly. But it is fun. Like you build connections. Like even when I finished my placement, I was I was actually kind of sad, even though it was tough. Like, yeah. It was. Meant to be four weeks, but I got COVID in between, so it became like five weeks of no work. No oh, shit. Like I wasn't because I don't get paid for. Wait, well, they yeah. don't pay you for the placements? No. Oh fuck that! Yeah. For five weeks, mm-hmm. oh my god, I couldn't do it. But yeah, it was. But I feel like yeah, if I was getting paid and yeah, because I I had good connection with the kids, I really that's I, good. I enjoyed being with them. Yeah, like, yeah. So we had our moments where had some disagreements or they just flare up. But yeah, yeah. Well, it always happens. Kids. It's natural. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Oh, it's interesting. Mm-hmm. And what about what is anything else you're working on at the moment that we haven't spoken about? Uh, jeez. Uh, I guess I, in detail, my car. Because yeah. really, I've I've just been. It's either my assignments, my car, or just playing ball. That's yeah, the only yeah. three things that goes yeah, on in my life hey, right now. So hey, yeah, fair. My car. I've I've got some new wheels. Hey. Um, I've been painting. Hey. Yeah. That's been pretty fun, but Man. aside from inhaling all the paint, even with the mask, oh, I would imagine. Yeah, so that's why I couldn't do shit like that, bro. Uh-huh. But yeah, I uh, respect that. It's cool though. It's mm-hmm. different. Why yeah. the hell not go for it? And what last uh, one of the ten was something you wish was legal in Australia? Something I wish was legal. Hmm. Dang. I wish something I wish was legal. Like, I don't know. I. So yeah, I'm into I'm into cars, right? Yeah. Like, I like to have fun, but it's also expensive. Mm-hmm. So I guess because there's this show, this anime called Initial D. Yeah. And they they like go around mountains like drifting down. Yeah. And shit, um, and it's it's um, kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so I guess like being able to street race in in certain parts, obviously not in Bunny Yeah, like, yeah, of course. Like, start zooming through. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, have like some certain part because going to the track is going to be fucking expensive I would you got to prep you got to have your helmets your fire extinguisher your make sure your car is like not doing this and that yeah know. fuck that mm-hmm. so yeah i guess with the car thing it's it's weird like I, yeah. earlier i was talking about how i hate or i don't like the cars but now i'm talking mm. about how i like the cars but yeah hit or miss type of thing uh-huh. it like, like it. sometimes it's just it's weird yeah i have love hate relationships yeah fair things. enough I, like with I'm, basketball it's always it's all love yeah yeah because yeah like let's say yeah you and me we're just two guys let's say we make a video and then there's gonna be people saying like oh you know you should do this you should do that yeah yeah for and sure then, all right yeah i can try that and then but with the cars there's a lot of people like hating on i'm each not other's surprised builds. yeah they would be like oh let's say you know i want to build a corolla yeah yeah like there i mean there's a sportivo which is like a cool like an actual cool corolla yeah yeah then, no i want like a base model Corolla and I want to you know put a big spoiler in it and you have people be like that shit is trash like oh you should get out of the car scene really like, yeah bro who gives a fuck mm-hmm. yeah like do whatever the fuck you want absolutely That's, yeah absolutely like, it's just your it's like painting it's right. your own creative platform it's just people just being fucking dicks clearly yeah. um on to the next one so this is this week's W's and L's so that's W you've taken this week and then L you've taken this week W I've taken this week it's the only thing I'm a part of so uh, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think with W. What, what W's I had? Uh huh. I think I might start with an L. I have one W, but I can't say it on camera. Oh, for real? Yeah, I can't say it. Dang. All right. I'm missing out. I'll yeah. tell you after, but yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And, and all my all my all my boys know, but like uh-huh. I just I, nah, I'm not saying it on camera. I gotta I gotta think of one. Yeah, I gotta think of another one then. Yeah, because I try to stay positive, bro. Like uh, my L, we took it. We took it L in basketball one day. Oh, for real? Yeah, we played like shit. Oh, yeah. do you play for a team now? Yeah, yeah, I play like local. Oh, yeah. So I was asking because if you want to play, mm-hmm. we need we, we need new players yeah. next season if you want to play. Damn. All right, where do you guys play at? Alexandria. Oh, okay. It's hella far though. <laughs> I know. Just a couple half an hour once a week. Mm-hmm. 
No, because I, I don't take tolls because the toll be expensive. Yeah, to be fair. Right? Like so what does it take you each like each time? Like it, it just adds another, yeah, 45. So it's not too bad, but yeah. If you want to aim it, there's a spot for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll let you know. Yeah. I'm, I am down to play. Yeah, yeah. I've been itching. Yeah, mate, I'm telling you, me mm-hmm. too. Like, when I, especially, like, I play like I've had a bad season. For real? Yeah, I've just been shooting bad. That's all right. Yeah, I'm Shooter still, shoot. like, I'm still putting up, like, I'm, like, I'm probably averaging, like, 15, but, like, I sh- should be averaging, number. like, 25. Yeah. Because oh. I'm missing so many threes. I've, honestly, I reckon I shot, like, I want to say like 11 out of like 50, maybe more than that. <laughs> maybe like 11 out of 60. I've been hey. shooting so bad. It's been rough. Hey, I'm finishing what? well, but I just can't make threes. Uh, you know what? Taking 50 shots, I could never take Oh, bro, I'm wild. I'm wild. I, I shoot like 20 a game. You do the mellow. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, I know that bad. I've done like fucking pull up threes in people's mm-hmm. faces. Yeah. No, hell yeah. Yeah, for but, um, but yeah, dang. L and dub. No, I feel like this week for me has been pretty boring. I guess. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's my W? Yeah. I'm trying to think what W is. Um, doing this. Mm-hmm. W is always yeah. in the podcast. Uh huh. I was gonna say that too. Like I've never actually done anything yeah, yeah. like this. It's so not. Yeah, I'd, I'd put that as a dub. Yeah, for sure. Because the next closest thing, like next best thing, mm-hmm. is um, uh, I had my last class at university, but that's just like yeah. it was gonna happen eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying to think what else my dub was. I'd say this is my biggest dub. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Yeah, because this this is fun. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah right, it's mad time. Yeah, I'm gonna say that my biggest dub I'll tell you off camera after. Yeah. Don't All wanna right. say it. Uh-huh. It's not it's not people, it's nothing bad, I just don't want to talk about it. Mm-hmm. There's a time and a place. Yeah. Um You got your L? My L so yeah, they're definitely a big L from basketball. Yeah. Or oh no. I lost a bet to a mate. Damn. And I um I had to I owed him a hurricane meal. Uh, so I spent two hundred dollars on food for just me and him. <laughs> oh no! Oh, we had other mates go, so it was like a five hundred. Yeah. You realize how how much hurricanes is five hundred dollars yeah. between the five of us. I haven't eaten in a long time. I like at hurricanes. Yeah, I haven't either. I haven't eaten them in like ten years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably the same. Like, yeah, I was like twelve. Yeah, same as me, bro. I was like mm-hmm. fucking eleven or yeah, eleven, mm-hmm. twelve, and then I was just like, my mate wants to go. I'm like, fuck. It was really fucking good. Mm-hmm. Bloody expense. Sixty dollars just for ribs. You yeah. get no sides. Where where is that at? Like Bondi. Which oh, okay. Bondi, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should have gone to Brighton because it's closer. Mm. But like, yeah. It was My L. Oh, it was this morning. Oh well, I mean, I wasn't gonna buy the car regardless. Yeah, yeah. But I've been looking to buy this car. Yeah. And yeah, I saw it yesterday, or yeah, it was a couple of days ago. Yeah, I saw yeah. It, and then I was like, dang, this is really clean, and because it's a 135i BMW. Yeah, yeah. So like, they're fairly quick, like good for mod. They take mods fairly well. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I wanted to like I messaged a guy this morning, thinking that you know it hasn't been sold because it's still the ad's still up there. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I wasn't gonna buy it regardless because I do not have the money. To yeah, it. yeah, yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I was hopeful. You know, he yeah, might, yeah. might bring it down by because when I bought my car now. Yeah. Um, it was listed for ten and a half k. He, I said, "What's your lowest price?" He said, seven point five. I was like, "All right, oh, I'll see you mate. tomorrow." <laughs> How is that? I'll see you tomorrow. I'll come pick it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, this one I was like, you know, he might bring it down to like twenty k, and I might consider it. I might, you know, hey dad, can I borrow five k? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, but I guess that's my biggest L. Yeah, yeah I, you know, I try to look, stay positive. Yeah, yeah. At it, least now, because that car, I've been seeing it for like twenty five plus, twenty five plus k, and I'm like. Um, yeah, there's yeah. no way I'm getting that this year so yeah. I got I got hope like because two months ago they were all like 22 19k for like yeah, yeah. low mileage and stock like no mods and then all of a sudden last few weeks it's been like 27k 28k I'm like, oh, fuck God that damn. man mm-hmm. it's a brand new car right, that's like more that's more than my fucking whole bank account <laughs> yeah that'd be um, like doubling my shit yeah it's crazy man mm-hmm. um then I got um Let's see. We've got the next thing. The question of the podcast. This is just some bullshit question. It's not bullshit, but like some question I just think of. Uh-huh. But we've, now we've talked about it. Uh, so, and you know, this was more an NBA question. But uh-huh. Um, no, NBA th- hit me, bro. Favorite, who are your favorite players to watch at the moment? Favorite new players to watch? Yeah. Ah, shit. <laughs> favorite players I'd like to watch? Sure. Off the bench, Russell Westbrook? Yep. All right, we spoke about that. Yep. D-Book? Yep. I'm curious now with Donovan Mitchell. You said he's averaging 32. Yeah, bro, it's so, wild. Hey, he he's, he was apparently baby D Wade back then, so uh, he can yeah. shoot the uh-huh. he can shoot the thing out of that he boy. Might, he made he might become a baby LeBron. Who Maybe. Knows? Hey, yeah. he's in Cleveland now. Yeah, because so. uh, I like I said earlier, unless you're LeBron, you're not doing shit in Cleveland. 
Yeah. Where, where is Cleveland, firstly? Like, point Cleveland out in the map. Bro, it's in the butt fuck of <laughs> nowhere. Yeah. Fucking Ohio. It's so, it just look. I imagine fucking living in Cleveland. Oh, mm-hmm. my God. Yeah, like. No Cleveland offense to Clevelanders, from, but like. Yeah, Cleveland from Family Guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Eh? Yeah. So, yeah. What did I say? Westbrook. Off the bench. Yeah, no, it has to be off, off the, the bench. bench Westbrook. Westbrook. The book. Cleveland Donovan Mitchell. Cleveland Donovan Mitchell. I'm curious to see Giannis. Because then, yeah. yeah, he won the championship two years ago. He's a weapon, so, man. So, yeah. I'm curious to see Giannis and my my team, Miami Heat. I want to see what Jimmy Butler does. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Him and Hero. Because Hero's starting. So oh, him, for real? Yeah, so him and Ben and good backcourt so far. How's the Heat been going? They're going all right. They're, I think they're like 500. They, they've had a bit of... They lost a bunch of games. They should have won. That's fine. Bam out of bio. He's my fantasy team. He started oh, bad. Yeah, yeah but the first two games he shot like fucking horrible. <laughs> and the guest to guess. So this is where the question, as I explained to you before, so question uh-huh. from last week's guest. Yep. Shout out to who was it? Um, Oliver. Shout out Ollie. And then you ask a question for the next week's guest. Uh-huh. Dang, I need to come up with a question. So think of something. Well, I'll, I'll tell you and then think of one. Uh-huh. So they asked, if there is anywhere in the world, in the world, where would you live? Anywhere in the world where I would live well, minus the Philippines because I've already yeah, lived yeah. there and let's say minus yeah. minus Australia mm-hmm. well minus Sydney yeah it? I'd live in Japan yeah yeah just cause I've been watching this guy who he lives in the US and he goes to Japan and like shit just looks so good like the shrines that he goes to and he's also he's like a big car guy I love so Japanese he, food yeah. so um, the food bro, oh, like be... he films his food and I'm like dang I'm hungry now. Bro, I would yeah. you just have teppanyaki and fucking oh, sushi real? every day. <laughs> yeah, no, it's healthy. Rice. Yeah, it's fucking good though. Mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah, no, Japanese food, Japanese culture. Mm. I'm into anime too. Like, no, bro. The cars. They're upset yeah. because, well, it's everywhere over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want to see. Like, I want to go to like all the Naruto and the places. Yeah, because like the, they have like these theme parks that's Naruto. Oh, places. really? Yeah. Well, man. I want to go to that. Yeah, that'd be sick to go to. Uh-huh. And what about the question for next week's guest? question for next week yeah, yeah. man hmm. can be okay. literally anything oh what's the what's the worst drink you've ever drank oh yeah like just anything okay uh-huh you have an answer for that me i got an answer oh damn i don't even know i have one Oh, like I've I've drank some expired milk, but yeah. that's obvious like i just didn't realize yeah yeah i have a i have a, i have two uh-huh. First one, I remember I had Bundaberg rum for the first time. Or oh, whiskey yeah. or some shit. I hated it. Oh, for real? The worst, I had this smoothie. Mm-hmm. And it was like one of the really like healthy, disgusting, like kale smoothies from uh, yeah. Boost. It was horrible. Oh, damn. <laughs> I, like, I couldn't even finish the whole thing. It was that bad. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, I've, the worst I've drank is spoiled milk. And that shit hurt my stomach. Yeah, I would imagine. Full cream milk for me. I like. Oh, I'm mad lactose. So. Ah oh, damn. If I drink full cream milk. I have to <laughs> run to the bathroom. Yeah. Wait. So how does that work? Like the full cream. So you have to drink like skim milk. Yeah. Oh no, I don't like to drink. I just milk drink out. Yeah, I just drink like almond. But like, oh, if it's okay. say if it's like mixed, say if it's like obviously if it's mixed and like cooked or some shit, it's fine. <laughs> or like with with eggs, it's gonna be like okay. Yeah. For example, but like say it's like a smoothie, like a drink or something that has milk that's in it. Yeah. I'll be shitting. Uh huh. Literally. Yeah. I mean, toilet's right there. Yeah, goddamn. <laughs> That's about it, though. Mm-hmm. That's about it, man. Um, so this was episode 34 of the podcast. Uh, do you want to shout out anything real quick? Um, no, I mean, if you want to watch my videos, I guess. And <laughs> yeah, his um, socials will be listed below. So mm-hmm. go click those. And um, yeah. Um, thanks for having me, bro. No, like, bro. Thanks for coming. Hey, yeah. man, me too. I've had a sick time. Mm-hmm. Um yeah, that's about it. You go, um, go if you're watching the audio, uh, I do have a YouTube to go, so go watch the video, get this video, get the views up on that. That'd be nice. And um, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, please, I've been saying this last couple of episodes, please subscribe and follow because it actually, it shows how much, you know, you guys actually care yeah. about it and the fans and all that. And um, I do have a TikTok, so please have a look at my TikTok yeah, for yeah, once. Yeah, I have too, bro. Like, just, yeah, stay updated as well, like with whatever Sam's doing. So, hey, yeah. much love, my boy. Mm-hmm. And um, this is episode 34 of the Red Blood Podcast with Pat Ibarra. I'm Sam Fraser, and we are out. Sir.